uh, do some housekeeping, I'd like to request our ComSec to recognize our guest. Rudy, can you please uh, proceed and swear in those that are new here, if any? Those who are present as of this are, are. Uh, from the Bureau of Customs, the current commissioner is Hidro La Peña, uh, Captain Gerardo Gambala, Mr. Dennis Maniego, Mr. Rainier Ragos. Where's Dennis Maniego? Oh, there you go. Yes, go ahead. Mr. Joel Pinawin. Uh, Mr. Arnel Alcaraz, uh, Miss Maria Lourdes Castillo, and May Escoto. From the NBI, Mr. Vicente. Excuse me, where is May, Miss May Escoto, please? Okay, thank the, you. Uh, from the National Bureau of Investigation, Mr. Vicente A. de Guzman, Jr. And from PDEA, representing Yusek Aquino, Mr. Jesus Fajardo, Deputy Director for Administration, and Mr. Norman Valquiedra. From the ICTSI, Mr. J. Valdez, and Mr. Noel Monzon. Captain, also here present are Colonel Neil Anthony Estrella, Mr. Mark Ruben Taguba. Richard Tan, as Mr. Chen Julong. Mr. Kenneth Dong. And Dong is not here? Okay, actually, it's been marked. I cannot see him. Naha <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Those are the persons we have so far, Mr. Chair. Uh, there are, I think, two or three who have not taken their oath yet. Ms. Escoto. Please stand up, Ms. May. And who else? And from Pidea, Ms. Ms. Yu Fajardo and Balquieto. No, he's taken his oath already. Mr. Fajardo has taken his oath already in the previous hearings. This is practically a continuation, so. Uh, you are still under oath, along with Mr. Balkedra. Who else? Yes. All right. Can you administer Ms. May's uh, oath? Can you raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this proceeding? Thank you. You may take your seat. Thank you. As I said, this hearing is a continuation of our hearing on the privileged speech of Senator Pamphilo Lakshan on August 23, 2017, entitled Kita Kita. Uh, for starters, we'd like to know from the BOC and the NBI if they already found Tita Nani, <coughs> Gemma Castillo, I think Gemma Castillo is here, Georgia Bakud is here. And all other personalities identified in the tariff system which have not appeared before this committee. Has the NBI found any traces of Titanani? Actually, Your Honor, uh, good morning, Your Honors. Good morning. Actually, during our last hearing, we were, the NBI was instructed to, order to effect the arrest of uh, Mr. Jojo Bakut. But, uh, we formed two teams, one here in Manila and one in his proven provincial address in Cagayan, Solano, Cagayan. And uh, I think the NBI already made the return of uh, the warrant, uh, informing this honorable uh, body that uh, uh, Mr. Jojo Bakud was nowhere in the said address in the provincial as well as Manila address. Your Honor. And what is the disposition of the NBI then? Uh, 
because the NBI was given 24 hours within which to uh, make uh, the return, uh, the team from uh, Manila are still uh, uh, on the manhunt against Mr. Jojo Bakud. The Blue Ribbon respectfully requests and uh, uh, that uh, the manhunt continue for the personnel that is concerned so that there can be no question that we are sparing anybody in this investigation that would be able to shed light uh, on all the allegations. There's an atmosphere of suspicion either naturally or artificially being fomented and we want to make sure that none of that is uh, entertained. We want to make sure that the government can prove that they can arrest these people. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, as in fact, as I said, uh, the uh, team is, is still on the manhunt against uh, Mr. Jojo Bakud. Thank you. That is appreciated. Yes, in the meantime, we shall now proceed. I'll call Senator Lakson because I believe he has some witnesses. Senator Lakson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Some unfinished business. <clears throat> In the uh, hearing of September 25, uh, Mark Taguba testified on some conversations, or negotiation, if you will, no, with some personalities allegedly representing or acting in behalf of some customs personnel. And we have here in, uh, in attendance uh, Ms. May Escoto Ibeltran. She already submitted an affidavit, Mr. Chairman, and she will testify before the committee as to the truthfulness of or in, in uh, uh, corroboration of Mark Taguba's testimony. So just to refresh, <coughs> una, ang tanong ko muna sa'yo, May, kinoconfirm mo ba na yung mobile number 0916? 505, but ang dami nito. Sobra yung numero. 0916-505-9713. Kinukumpirma ba na sa iyo ito? Yes, Your Honor. Oh. Uh, meron sa iyong affidavit na nung April 7, you know, sabi mo rito, I was instructed by Mr. Joel Pinawin to contact Mr. Mark Taguba. And in Tagalog, told me, sabihin mo sa kanya yung para kay director at yung sa akin. Uh, kinukumpirma mo rin ito? Sige. Yung director na sinasabi niya, sa pagkala mo, sino yung director na yon? Pakilakas mo lang yung sagot mo. Pin press mo. Si director Estrella po. Yung sinasabi niya, director. Paki... Kwento mo nga sa amin sa komite kung paano nagsimula itong partisip naging partisipasyon mo doon sa tinatawag na tara na binanggit ni Mr. Mark Taguba na nakaraang pagdinig. Could you identify Mr. Estrella? Is he here? Yes po. Could you stand up and point to him? Mr. Estrella, uh, tayo, tumay ka lang. Pakitayo lang please. Siya po ba yan? Thank you. Go ahead. And si Mr. Pinawin, nasaan siya? Nandito rin. Siya ba yan? Thank you. Paano nagsimula itong lahat ng pag-uusap niyo ni Mr. Mark Taguba? Paano kayo nagkakilala? Paano kayo nag unang nagkita? At ano yung mga nag-transpire ng mga events uh, simula noon? Pakikwento mo nga, uh, May. Noong March po, uh, pumunta po si Mark Taguba sa customs. Hinahanap po yung office ni Sir Joel Pinawin. So, noong nandun po ako sa baba ng CIIS, uh, tumawag po kasi... Teka muna, ano bang trabaho mo sa Bureau of Customs? Uh, as a contractual po. Contract of service ka? Yes po. Mula kailan? Noong 2014 po. 2014. Hanggang sa pangkasalukuyan, yes, andong ka pa rin. O sige, tuloy mo lang. Tapos po, nung nandun po ako sa baba ng CIIS, na nakita ko po, ay tumawag po yung husband ko. 
Uh, sabi niya sa akin, merong pupunta dyan sa boss mo, pakisamahan na lang kasi hindi niya alam yung office. So, hinanap ko po sa baba kung sino yun. So, nakita ko naman po si Mr. Mark Taguba. Si Mark Taguba, yung katabi mo? Opo. Uh -huh. uh, Lilingon-lingon, hinahanap niya po yung office ni Sir Joel. So, inassist ko po siya papunta dun sa office namin sa second floor ng CIIS. Po, with the probation of Central Action. Sino po yung boss ninyo? Si Sir Joel Pinawin. Po. Joel Pinawin. Yes, sir. Contract of service ka dun sa intelligence service. Yes, sir. Thank you. Nung pagkahatid ko na po kay Sir Joel, uh, pagkahatid ko na po kay Mark, kay Sir Joel Pinawin, iniwan ko na po sila. Then, after niya po si, si Mark makipag-usap kay Sir Joel Pilawin, uh, kinuha niya po yung number ko. Para Anong kumuha? Si Sir Mark. Uh, nung paglabas niya? Apo. Para po, in, if ever na pupunta po siya uli kay Sir Joel, inform niya po kung nandyan na para po hindi siya magantay ng matagal. Yan lang po. Sige lang. Eh, pagkatapos? Pagkatapos po noon, may time po na nagdetect sa akin si Mark kung nandiyan na si Sir Joel kasi pupunta po siya. So, in-inform ko naman po si Sir Joel na nag-text si Mark na pupunta. Sabi po sa akin ni Sir Joel, papuntahin mo na lang siya mga 11 kasi yun ang dating ni Director. Director Estrella? Opo. Sige. And then... Pagkatapos po noon, tinex ko naman po si Sir Mark na 11 siya pumunta. Yan lang po. Noong April 7, ayon na rin sa testimonya ni Mark Taguba, meron kayo pag, pag, hindi pag-uusap, uh, palitan ng text message sa telepono. Pakikwento mo nga kung ano yun. Noong April 7 po ng umaga. Ang April 7, biyarnis yan ano? Opo. Friday? Opo. Anyway, chinay ko sa kalendaryo, mm -hmm. Friday. Mm -hmm. Sige. Noong April 7 po ng umaga, uh, tinawag po ako ni Sir Joel Pinawin. Sabi niya sa akin, tawagan mo si Mark. Taguba. At ito sabihin mo, yung para kay Director tsaka sa akin. Anong ibig sabihin nun sa pagkaintindi mo? Hindi ko po alam. Basta yun lang po daw ang sabihin ko. So nirelay mo? Opo. Anong sagot sa'yo ni Mark? Eh, hindi ko naman po siya matawagan maaga pa nun. Tsaka hindi ko po kasi siya ganun ka-close. Kaya tinex ko na lang po siya. Sabi ko po, happy morning. Remind lang po ni Sir Joel yung kay director at saka sa kanya. Iyan yung eksakto, yung nasa screen, Opo. ano? Opo. Ganyan nang takbo ng usapan ninyo. O sige, tuloy mo. Tapos po, nag-text naman po si Sir Mark, copy. Okay, ganun po. Sige, tuloy mo lang ang, ang salasya mo. Tapos po noon, uh, inutusan pa rin po ko ni Sir Joel after a week Uh, April 12 po ata yun, Holy Wednesday, para magbambahal na araw. Yun po. Sabi niya po rin uli, tawagan ko uli si Mark Taguba. So, tinex ko naman po uli si Mark. Nag-reply naman po si Sir Mark. Ang sabi niya sa akin, parang next week na lang kasi cut off. Maliit lang, parang gano'n. Ano ibig sabihin ng cut-off, maliit lang? Hindi ko rin po alam eh. Basta... Mark, ano ibig sabihin ng cut-off, maliit lang? May, may holiday po ata nun, kaya sinabi ko, pag-combining na lang yung... Ah, may sana week. na lang? Opo. Kasi Hindi o, na yung... parang konti lang po. Okay. E di next week na lang, isabay, isabay na lang. Sabay na lang? Opo. Sige, may. Pagkatapos noon, April 21, ayos sa pidebit mo? No... After po noon, Friday po uli, tinawag na, sinabi po sa akin uli ni Sir Joel na tawagan mo si Mark, sabi mo dalawa na. Meaning? Ewan ko, basta sabi niya. Sabi ano ibig sabihin ng dalawa na? Dahil lumipas yung isang linggo na hindi, na hindi nakapagbigay kasi nga konti pa lang. Op, so, para po. nire-remind ka ni Joel na dalawa na. Opo. Okay. May sinayo pa siyang may na-monitor. Ganon po. Ang sumunod? Tapos po noon, noong May na po eh, 
May team building po kasi namin noon eh. May five. May five. Uh, Ang sinasabi mo sa pilibit mo, may six. Dito yung... Uh, magkakaroon ng team building. So may five kayo nakapag-usap. Opo. Ah, sige. Uh -huh. okay. Nung may five po ng Friday, maga pa lang po, sinabihan na po ako ni Sir Joel na tawagan si Mark dapat mga 12 o'clock andito na yung para sa kanila. So, tinext ko po ulit si Sir Mark. Eh, sabi naman ni Sir Mark Taguba, masyado pang maaga, tsaka wala po raw siyang mauutusan. Kung pwede daw mag padala na lang ng tao pa para kumuha doon sa kanila. So, sinabi ko naman po kay Sir Joel na maaga pa. Sabi niya, kunin mo na. Eh, wala rin naman po akong choice. Kaya, napilitan po akong pumunta sa office ni Sir Mark. Tinanong ko muna. Saan yung office ni Mark? Tinext ko po siya muna kung saan eh. Tapos, ano, in-instruct niya po. Doon lang po sa Intramuros. Oh, sabi niya, sa fifth floor. So, nung nasa fifth floor na po ako, nag-text po ako sa kanya, nandun na ako sa elevator sa fifth floor. Kasi hindi ko po alam yung office niya eh. So, nilabas naman po niya ako. Inaya pa nga niya ako mag-lunch eh. Kaya lang, hindi na po ako nag-lunch kasi namamadali pa akong bumalik ng office. Kasi mag-12 na po yun eh. Pagbalik ko naman po ng office, wala na po si Sir Joel. Nakaalis na po. Nandun na po siya sa, ano, sa site ng kung saan po kami magti-team building. After po nun, tinex ko na po siya na hawak ko na po yung pinapakuha niya. Pakadescribe mo nga yung sinabi mong kinuha mo kay Mark Taguba. Anong itsura nung kinuha mo sa kanya? Naka-envelope po eh. Gano'ng kalaki envelope yun? Yung brown envelope. Ilang envelope sila? Dalawa po. Dalawa. May pangalan sa envelope? Opo. Ano nakalagay na pangalan? Director po tsaka Sir Joel. Nakalagay doon, director, yung isa, Sir, Sir Joel. Joel. Sa tansya mo, sa hipo mo, uh, mga magkano laman? Hindi ko po alam. Hindi, Hindi gano'ng kakapal yung isang envelope? Hanggat maaari nga po, yung akong hawakan eh. <laughs> Hindi, pero inyabot sa'yo, di mahawakan mo. Opo. So, saan mo nilagay? Sa ano po, sa yung parang folder, folder okay. ng DHL para hindi masyadong kita. Folder o mas malaking envelope? Uh, para siyang yung folder. Open na folder. Uh, tapos naka-scotch tape yung gilid. Okay, so doon yung lagay. Opo. O oh, sige, pagkatapos? Tapos po, nung nasa office na ako, wala, wala na po Sir Joel, kakaalis lang po eh. So, tinex ko po siya, nasa akin na po yung pinapakuha niya. Hindi naman po siya nag-reply. So, wala naman po kong magawa kung saan ko lalagay yung pinakuha niya. Pero alam mo pera yung laman? Opo. Si uh, maski hindi mo nakita. Opo. Alam mo pera yun. Nagkakaintindihan kayo ni Mark. Mahaba po eh. Uh -huh. Sige, pagkatapos. Tapos po, kinabukasan po, team building namin, inuwi ko na po yung, pina yung nakuha ko kay Mark. Tapos nung maga na, nandun na kami sa Batanga sa team building namin, inabot ko na po kay Sir Joel yung may body bag po ako doon ko po nilagay yung nakuha ko kay Sir Mark na envelope. Inabot ko na po sa kanya. Anong Inuwan? sabi niya sa'yo pagkaabot? Wala po. Kaya Wala lang. Kasi inabot niya yung body bag? Opo, body okay. bag. Pagkatapos? Kinuha naman po niya. Ano nag-transpire after that? Wala na po eh. Binalik na lang rin po niya sa akin nung, ano, nung hapon yung bag ko. Yung body bag. Doon sa affidavit mo, sinasabi mo na hiningi, hina, ano, parang hinihingi niya yung SIM card mo ni Joel? Opo. Paano niya sinabi sa iyo? At saka bakit kailangan ko yung SIM card? Sabi po niya nung August 8, maga, sabi niya akin na yung SIM card mo. So, sabi ko, bakit, sir? Ah, basta akin na. Bili ka na lang ng bagong SIM card. Eh, hindi ko naman po matanggal agad-agad yung SIM card ko kasi may key yung tinutusok. Sabi niya, di ba may hikaw ka? Yan ang pantanggal mo. So, tinanggal ko na po kasi nasarapan ko na siya eh para siyang namamadali na kunin. Pagkabigay ko, binigyan naman po niya akong pera pambili ng SIM card.
Tapos nung after nung nakbili ako, sabi ko, sir, baka pwedeng makuha ko kasi nandiyan pa yung iba kong mga number. Saka na, sabi niya. Baka kasi may tumakot. Yung contact list, sinasabi Opo. mo? Uh -huh. Opo. Yung iba pong mga number, mga contact dun sa mm -hmm. SIM. So, ano pa mga sumunod na pangyayari? Wala na po. Wala na po siyang inutos. Hindi na, hindi ka na niya kinontak para kumuha uli ng pera. Yun lang ang time na nakakuha ka. Mark, misan ka lang ba nakapagbigay sa kanya ng pera? Yun lang, pagkakataon na yan. Opo. Min minsan po kasi bupunta po yung asawa naman po niya. Asawa ni May. May. Ni May. At tumingi ng pera sa iyo para kay uh, Director. Uh, siya naman po ang nautusan. Nautusan na ano? Pagkatapos ni May o before kay May? Alin na nauna Pag yung pagkuha ng asawa? Po. Pagkatapos. Ah, pagkatapos. Parang tinikover ng... Pero ang asawa mo, wala sa customs? Wala po. Uh. O, oh, Joel, ikaw naman. Your Honor, uh, good morning po. Good uh, sa lahat po nung sinabi ni May, Your Honor, puro kasinungalingan po ito. Unang-una, wala po akong inutos kay May at sa asawa niya. Maliwanag po dito, sir, kung nag-uusap man sila at nagte-text, eh, transaksyon nilang dalawa yan, Your Honor. Personal po nilang usapan yan. Unang-una, sir, yung sinasabi po ni May na asawa niya, yung na live-in partner niya, eh, batang sarado po ni Ruben Taguba. Mismo nung nakausap po si Tisoy nung mga nagdaang panahon, si Tisoy mismo ang nagkikwento nang tumakbo itong si Mayor, nag-vice mayor sa Cagayan, eh ang, si Tisoy mismo ang nagbabadigag sa kanya. Pangalawa, sir, si Tisoy, kolumnista ni Ruben Taguba doon sa customs na dyaryo niya. So makikita po nito, maliwanag po yung motibo rito, sir. Ano po bang motibo rito? Nag-conspiracy po itong si May, si Mark Taguba at si Tisoy para sirain ako. Bakit po ba ako sinisira rito? Eh ako po yung nakahuli kay na Mark Taguba doon sa siya buong pinarating nila eh. Ako rin po mismo ang kumuha sa kanya sa Manila Hotel kasama si Kenneth Dong. Ano po ang patunay na tao nila si Taguba, si, si Tisoy? Ito po yung dyaryo ni Mr. Taguba na inamin niya na kanila nung nagtagda ang mga Senate hearing nang tinanong po ni Sen. Gordon kung kanila yung dyaryo. Ito po yung dyaryo, maliwanag po rito si Tisoy, na kolonista ni Ruben. Nang ako sila sila nag-uusap, ano pong kinalaman ko doon kung sila sila nag-uusap? Hindi ko po tao si Tisoy. Para, lalong hindi ko po inuutusan si Tisoy na kumuha ng pera kay Mark. Hindi naman po kami nag-uusap ni Tisoy. Hindi ko po tao si Tisoy. So maliwanag po, nakasinungalingan po ito, Your Honor. Uh, before anything, uh, anong pangalan ni Tisoy full name? Yung boyfriend mo ba yan? Or living partner mo? Anong pangalan niya? Ricky Tisoy Carbal. Uh, Pakilakas lang? Ricky. Ricky po. Ricky? Opo. Ricky ano? Carbal. Carvajal. Hindi Ricardo Carvajal. Ricardo Carvajal. Ricardo Carvajal. Alright. Alias si Soy. Okay. At uh, sabi mo, Mark, kumuha ng pera sa'yo si Ricky later on para ibigay kay Director Estrella at saka kay Joel Punawen. Yes, Your Honor. Actually, Your Honor, nakatawa na lang kay Joel eh. Sinasabi niya yung sa Shabu o siya yung huli. Eh ano po yan? April pa po yung text na yan. At matagal, matagal na panahon na bag, matagal na panahon bago nagkaroon ng rate, ang rate po ata is May 26. Kaya ano po sinasabi nito ni Joel Pinawin? Natawa lang ako eh. Bakit hindi niya muna sagutin? Bakit niya kinuha yung SIM card ni May kung wala naman silang tinatago? Bakit na binigyan ng 2,000 pambili ng bagong SIM card si May? Pa Joel, kinuha ba yung SIM card? Pinakuha mo ba talaga? Your Honor, wala po akong kinukuhang SIM card ni May. Bakit ko naman po kukunin yung SIM card ni May? May face to pa ito, Joel, ha? Ibang usapin naman. Kaya steady ka lang dyan. Pero kinukumpirmo na nagpunta ka sa office ni 
Joel nung Yes, Sir Honor. March March 27, di ba? Nung inaanap po siya. Mag ah, sometime in March. Sometime in yes, sometime in March. Magkano laban nung envelope? Your Honor, ititignan ko po kung magkano po yung naparating ko nung kung ilan po yung naparating ko nung panahon na yun. Matitrace ko rin kung magkano yung laman nung envelope na yun. Nung day na yun. I'll make sure you tell us kung magkano para gano'n kalaki yung envelope. Malaman natin kung talagang tama yun. Yes po, Your Honor. Right. Hindi, kasi more or less regular ito, di ba? So, regular po. Hindi ka kung magkano. So, kung binigay mo nung April 21 sa dalawang envelope. Okay. Ikaw ba nagsulat nung sa labas ng envelope na director saka Joel? Ikaw yes, mismo po. nagsulat? Opo. So, may idea ka kasi hindi pa naman matagal ito eh. Tulang taon na ito eh. Mga magkano sa tansya mo? Not necessarily exact amount. Hindi po ba ba ng 50,000? Per envelope. Yung kay, uh, kay para kay Director Estrella. Yung 50. Kay, 50. 50. 50. 50. Tapos yung para naman kay Joel is naglalaro po from 10,000 to 20,000. 10 to 20,000. 20. Oh, Director Estrella, answer din. Sir, good morning po. Good morning. Uh, since uh, minabangit po ako ni Mark, uh, Sir, I categorically deny that I receive any money or envelope from Mr. Mark Taguba. And you know that, palagay ko wala tayong engagement na ganun. The two, uh, two incidents that I met you, parehong problema yon. And uh, all I did was just to give you advice and uh, the things that uh, needs to be done. Also with May, uh, sir, I did not receive any uh, money, nor I gave instruction to May to collect for me. Certain Tisoy, I know him by, uh, by name because uh, he usually uh, texts me for uh, interview uh, regarding our uh, actions uh, BOC, sir, when I was still the uh, spokesperson of the Bureau of Customs. But uh, only uh, through text, and uh, one time I met him in a press conference, uh, the more that I will not uh, uh, allow uh, anybody of that uh, uh, pro profile, uh, taga media pa sir, na uh, utusan ko sir to collect money uh, for, for us. Media si Tisoy? Opo sir. Tisoy ba media? Yes sir, yes sir. O baka house siya o media? Well sir, uh, I, can, uh, I don't have personal knowledge on that. But uh, he usually writes uh, in a uh, regular newspaper for the Bureau of Customs. And he usually asks our comment for certain uh, Can you activities. please, Joel, uh, hand over to the uh, security yung, yung napakita ng Jario because hindi ko pa nakikita yan, hindi pa namin nakikita. Pwede mo ibigay mo sa amin yan? Pakikuha nga lang, please. Yes, Sir Honor. Pati po yung pictures nila ni May at ni Tisoy. May litrato dyan, si May at saka si... Si Rick. Si Ricky Carbal si alias Tisoy, Tisoy Yaron. Si Ricky. Ah. Now, May, ito ang... Ang testimony mo, kinuha mo yung envelope kay Mark. Nakalagay lang doon, Director Estrella, Director at si Joel Pinawin. Tama? Hindi kayo nag, wala kayong pinag-usapan ni, in fairness, no? wala kayong pinag-usapan ni Colonel Estrella. So ang kausap mo talaga dito ay si Joel Pinawin. Sir Joel lang po. Uh, kasi may allegation na si Joel ang bagman ni... Allegedly, the bagman of uh, Colonel Australia. Alam mo ba yan? Hindi po. Pero, alam mo ang pera yung tinatanggap mo? Nung nahawakan ko na po na... Pakisabi sa mga. Nung nakuha ko na po kay Mark yung envelope, mukha naman pong pera. At saka sa himig ng salita. Di ba? Ito yung para kay Director. At saka yung para sa akin. Dalawang hindi ko na salita, di ba? Every time po kasi niya sa uutusan ako, sasabi niya itong sasabihin mo. Kasi Every ko... time. Oh, ilang beses ka na ba niya inutusan? Tatlo po. Tatlong beses. Mhm. Mm Anong inutusan niya sa tatlong beses na 'yon? Tawagan mo si Mark, kunin mo yung para sa amin. 'Yan lang po. Iba-ibang araw 'yon. Every Friday. Bago nung March 27. Oh, basta. Kailan na abangan niya yung perang 'yan talaga? O tuwing kayo nagsasabi siya, nagbibigay kayo ng pera? Oo. Oh? Na, Nag-i-entry ka ng pera siya, si Mark, yung para sa kanila. Oh. Every time siya nasabi niya, yung para sa amin. Opo. Oh, so, hindi lang itong isang beses na ito, nagbigay ka ng pera sa kanila. Noong inutos lang po, mula April, 
Hanggang May 5, hindi na po dahil niya ako nautusan. Pero ilang beses ka nagbigay ng pera sa kanila? Kay, ano, tatlo po. Tatlong beses? Opo. Ano, ito yung unang beses? Oo. Ano yung pangalawa? Noong 21 po. 21. 21. Do you confirm that, Mark? Every Friday po, nagbibigay naman po ako. Oh, sa Friday Magic? Opo. Uh, Friday, 21, tapos April, tapos? April 7 po. April 7. April 7. 21, tsaka nung May. Tsaka May ano? Nung May 5. May 5. So, nagbibigay siya ng envelope sa inyo? Sa iyo? Opo. Pag, pag, nag, 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 pag nag-text po ako kay Sir Mark, doon po ako nakakakuha ng envelope para bigay kay Sir Joel. Binibigay mo kay Joel? Sa kanya po. Wala na po iba. Saan mo binigay? Yung una, binigay mo sa outing ninyo? Yung last po sa outing namin. Yung May 21? May 5? May, May 6 na po yun. May bali, 6? Saturday oh. na po. Eh, yung uh, April 21? Sa office po. Sa office na? Nagkaintindihan na kayo, basta inabot mo sa kanya? Oo. Oh. Wala na ba siya sinasabi? Wala po. Wala, salamat. Wala po. Oo. Oh. Yung envelope na yun, isa lang ang laman nun. Dalawa po envelope. Ah, dalawang envelope palagi? Oo. Oh. So, isa para kay Director Estrella, di umano, at saka isa kay Joel. At tinatanggap ni Joel, pinawin yun. Oo. Oh. So, gano'n rin sa April 7? Opo. So, yung tatlong okasyon na yun, lahat tumanggap si Joel Pinawin para kay Colonel Stadia. Opo. Tama po ba yan? O, oh, sige. Ma, kinukonfirm mo, wala kang direktamente pagkipag-ugnayan, pagkipag-usap kay Director Estrella. O nakausap po rin siya? Dalawang beses ko lang po siya nakausap. Saan? Sa opisina niya. Mismo? Opo. Sa customs. Anong naging takbo na usapan ninyo? Um, Harap-harapan ito, ha? Opo. Oo. Uh, yung una pong... Actually po, yung tatlo po pala, tatlo. So yung, yung, unang da, yung dalawa, meron po kasi silang raid. Meron silang ni-raid sa Baklaran. At meron po silang ni-raid naman sa Dagupan. Ganino yung ni-raid niya? Sa iyo? Hindi po. Isa sa kaibigan ko. Okay. Um, Andrew po ang pangalan niya. Andrew. Ayoko po sana sabihin yung apelido niya. Sabihin mo na. Uh, Andrew Chang. Chan. Opo. Uh. So, isa po siya sa may-ari doon sa bodega. Bodega? Opo. Ano? Kasi uh, yung, yung uh, isang pag-uusap po namin, kuneta po yun, 119. So, ano po yun, marami kasing isang hilera yun na puro bodega. Isa po sa may-ari doon. Saan doon yan? Sa, sa Baklaran na sa, sa Baklaran. Kupan? Baklaran. Okay. So, uh, yun po, nagpatulong siya kasi ni-read daw po sila ng CIIS. Uh, nilock daw yung uh, ano nila, yung bodega nila. At uh, yun. Sinabi niya kasi sa akin, meron din daw isang instance sa Baklaran, 115. La, ano lang, uh, one week lang yung pagitan. Uh, Matanda mo yung pecha? Makikita ko naman po dito sa... Pero anong buwan yun? March po. Hindi ko po sure. March po. Ano? Anyway, sige. March po. Okay. Anyway, tingnan mo yung records mo. Mamaya ibigay mo sa amin. Tingnan mo mamaya pagkatapos. Pero sagutin mo muna yung tanong ng Senator Lockton. March, March po yun. Mga March? Mga March po. Uh, si Andrew Chang rin yun? Yun po yung instance, yung kay Andrew Chang. Wow. Uh, yung uh, sa Cuneta 119. Sinabi po kasi niya sa akin. Nakikiusap siya para pakiusapan si Director Stryker. Opo. Na kasi yung 115 is uh, isang building yun, ni-raid din ng CIIS. Ang ginawa nila is uh, inareglo ng 5 million para wala na, tapos na yung, ano, yung, yung, Kanino yung raid. Kanino inareglo? Kanino? Ay, sa CIIS din po yun. Si AIS ang inareglo. Kwento sa inyo, Andrew Chan yun, ay inareglo na nila. No, so, ang gusto nila is, uh, since ako po kasi, nakapunta ako ng customs kung baka pwedeng pakiusapan na ganun din. So, 119, uh, maliit po yun na lote. Hindi to isang building. So, nung pinuntahan ko si Joel, ang sinabi naman niya is, uh, para dito sa loteng ito, 5 million. So, ang sinabi ko lang sa kanya is, ah, uh, 
masyadong malaki kasi yun nga sa 115 na isang building 5 million na yun ito namang sa kaibigan ko maliit lang naman na lote 5 million din so pero hindi naman kasi ako may ari nung bodega sinabi ko lang dun sa dun sa kaibigan ko si kay Andrew pero nag broker ka rin dun sa kay Andrew na yun hindi nag broker din po ako nang uh, pailan nila. Bakit ikaw ang pinakausapan? Dati ka naman may transaksyon kina Director Estrella sa kay Joel Pinawin? Before that? Before March? Um, wala po. Pero ako po kasi yung nasa customs. Ako Dati po, mo na silang kilala? Dati ko na silang kilala. Oh, sige, okay. Ano nag usapan nyo ni Director? Actually po si Director, pagkausap ko siya, ito po, totoo na masasabi ko, ang sinasabi niya, ito mga bata ako talaga, mga ano eh, parang masama, parang gano'n. No? Ang tingin ko po sa kanya, hindi lang niya makontrol yung mga tao niya. So, nung kausap ko siya, nag-usap kami, sige, bahala na sila Joel dyan kung magkano yung mapag-usapan ninyo. Gano'n lang ang sinabi niya sa akin. So, si Joel naman, sabi niya 5M. Madali uh, lang, ano ibig sabihin niya hindi niya makontrol yung tao niya? Raid ng raid. Opo, read, uh, halos every week po may read ang CIS. Pero hindi niya raw alam, yung pinalalabas niya. Alam diba? niya, pero hindi na niya mapigilan. Little help from customs, uh, yung mga insider, yung mga matagal na. Pag nag-grade ba, ano dapat ang hawak na dokumento? Anybody? Ay, ah, si, ano, si attorney Mangawang. Bago makapag-grade, ano dapat ang hawak? Uh, good morning po to the chairman and members of the committee. Yeah, it depends po. If the goods are suspected, uh, the, the suspected goods are freely importable and the violation is merely that the correct payment of duties and taxes uh, were not made, then the proper document is a letter of authority. Now, if the goods are suspected and validated to be prohibited goods, the proper document is the, a warrant of seizure and detention. Yes, the, sinong nagpipirma ng LOA? Uh, pursuant to Section 224 of the Customs Modernization and Tariff Act, the Commissioner of Customs has the authority to issue a letter of authority or any customs officer who is authorized by the Commissioner of Customs in writing to issue a law? So, and by the authorized, excuse me, Senator. Usually, po in the past, ang, the, under the old code, kasi sir, the district collector has the authority to issue a law even without a written authority of Pero the commissioner. Pero nung panahon commissioner pa yun don, siya na. Siya lang po, wala po siyang binigyan ng written authority na ibang customs officer. Uh, it was mere only commi former Commissioner Faeldon who had the authority to issue a letter of authority. Okay, okay. 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 mamaya discuss natin lengthily kasi meron akong uh, mga reports, mga dokumento rito tungkol din kay Joel Pinawin na kung saan nag-serve siya ng letter of authority. Pero bago yun, uh, Mark, ano nangyari sa usapan yun na 5 million? Naibigay ba yun? Um, natawaran po yun ng uh, 3M. Sinong uh, pumayag na matawaran? Uh, actually, ayaw nilang, ayaw pumayag ni Joel. Uh, ako naman, hindi uh, ko alam pa paano sila pakikiusapan. Sinabi ko na lang kay Andrew na ikaw nang pumunta kay Joel, kausapin siya. Ang sabi pa nga sa akin ni Andrew is uh, umiyak pa siya kasi ayaw tanggapin yung 3M. Pero bandang huli na tinanggap na rin ni Joel yung 3M. Tapos natapos na yung raid nila. Doon po sa... Ayaw tanggapin yung 3M dahil ayaw tumagap ng uh, suhol o mas malaki ang gusto? Gusto kasi nila yung 5M. 5M. Pero bandang huli, pumayag na rin. Opo, kasi ang nangyari po noon, tinapos muna nila yung nagkasundo na sa sa 5M pero 3M nga lang ang kaya ni ano ni Andrew pinapunta na nila yung mga mini van uh, mga truck ano tapos nag nagkakot na sila pero yung yung truck na yon 
kalahati nun, meron nang laman na mga basura na, na item. Tapos kumuha lang sila ng mga limang bundle o apat na bundle. Tapos yun na yung isasubmit nila para ano i-inventaryo. Ano mga goods? Ito ba yung ano? Iba pa tong sa Kim uh, Gadgetron Store? Ay, ano iba po yun. Iba Ay, po. Iba pa to. Ito po mga pantalon ito, mga damit. Pantalon. Uh, yeah. Nung nangyayari nga po yun, kasi napag-usapan namin ni, ni Joel na 5 million napakalaki para sa isang maliit na lote. Kumpara doon sa ni-rate naman nila na, malaki, na isang building, 5 million din. Ang pakiusap ko sa kanya, eh, ma maawa ka naman sa kanila at makakutan uh, mo pa sila, baka pwedeng huwag na magakot. Hindi niya ginawa yun, nagakot pa rin siya. At pagkatapos, so, kumuha pa siya ng isang bundle ng mga pantalon. Itinapon niya dun sa mga swap. Sinabi niya, sige, mamili na kayo dyan ng mga size ninyo. So yung mga inchik po, galit na galit. Nagiiyakan habang nakikita nila yung mga gamit nila. Ipina pinamimigay lang dun sa mga swat. Uh, meron lang isang swat doon na hindi, hindi pumayag. Ayaw niyang kumuha. When you say swat, swat ng ano yon? Hindi ko po alam. Nakaswat lang sila na uniforme. Is that a head call? Yes, I'm sure. I don't mean to. You're coming back, right? Ma Maalala ko. Thank you. Asensya na po, no? Ma may na naalala lang po ako. Nung bago nila gawin yung ginagawa nila dun sa operation dun sa 119, ang una nilang pinansin is yung CCTV. O hindi kami mag-ooperate pag, pag may CCTV. Patayin nyo yan. Um, nung hindi nila mahanap yung computer, balak pa nilang basagin yung CCTV. Uh, napag-alaman na lang na yun pala, nabubuksan naman pala yung uh, ano, kom kom computer room tapos pinatay yung CCTV. So, yun po. Ito mga mata, I just want to be clarified with information ng Yellow Senator Laxon. Pag sinabi mong areglo, anong ibig sabihin na inaareglo yung buwis o yung lagay? Uh, For the record lang yan, para malinaw sa record naman. Yung sa pagkakataon na yun, isa uh, para wala na silang hakutin. Hindi na nila, kumbaga, tuluyan yung bodega. Kasi pag ano ibig mo yan, sabihin ng tuluyan ng bodega? Kukunin lahat yung laman? Kukunin mo lahat ng item. Nandalhin sa loob ng costume sila. Tapos, uh, within 15 days, magbibigay ka ng resibo mo. Wow. Na patunay, na, nagbayad ka ng buwis dyan. Tarang buwis. Ngayon, hindi ko, siguro, fifth, ano, ano na rin, ah, uh, Siguro meron talaga silang resibo, ayaw lang nila maabala, ayaw lang nila masira, o siguro wala si talaga silang may pakitang resibo. Sino sila? Yung mga Chinese? Yung mga Chinese, kaya nag-areglo sila. Na ito na lang para sa abala, sa permission so, na mga... So, lagay? Yun. Lagay. Lagay. Alright. I just want to be clarified about that for the record. Go ahead, Chef. Siguro, Mr. Chairman, bago natin tuloy, kasi mahaba pa rin itong susunod na... Alam nyo, ito yung travails ng... Isa na kay pagdil sa Bureau of Customs ano para tayong nanonood sa Netflix ng <laughs> ng Designated Survivor may mga episodes eh First episode Tara para ka mag Green Lane okay nagbayad ka Susundan nito alert order di ba nakabayad ka na ng Tara pwede ka mag alert order yun ang second episode Okay pwedeng third episode ito yung nalip yung alert order lalagay ka na naman sa taas sa taas Pagkatapos noon, nailabas mo na nga, meron pang special stop order, harang ka pa sa gate. Hindi ba? So, yun ang episode number four. <clears throat> Paglabas mo sa gate, haabulin ka ng LOA. Hindi ba? Ito na nga yung nangyari. Kasi di umano, kulang yung bayad. Episode five. Episode six, pwede ka pang hatawi ng WSD. Hindi ba? At pwede pa mamission order. So, kukunan ka pa ng sample at mamaya ipapakita ko, Mr. Chairman, yung ni-raid ni na Joel Pinawin, pati yung US Embassy, isinang, isinangkot pa. Kailangan doon na ng sample ng mga Apple products kasi ni-raid nila itong Kim uh, Gadget uh, Store, uh, Gadget Tron Store. Aba, pati yung US Embassy, kinuha pa ng sample ko, no? Sumulat ako sa US Embassy, kinoconfirm ko kung may natanggap silang sample. Nagaling sa Bureau of Customs, dahil di umano, baka raw fake. Anong pakialam ng customs sa fake ang inabol nyo, tax? 
lahat ng kalokohan, Mr. Chairman, but, you know, uh, these things are really happening and uh, para naman medyo mabago yung takbo ng ating usapan dito, baka pwede nating marinig si uh, Commissioner uh, La Peña kasi may naikwento siya sa ating kanina before we started the hearing na natuklasan niya na kung saan nanggagaling yung pasalubong sa Commission of Customs. Uh, Commissioner La Peña, pakikwento mo nga kung ano yung bagong, kung ano yung nadiskubre mo. Ngayon lang po ito mapapalabas na malalaman ng publiko dahil ito'y talagang kalakaran na sa Bureau of Customs na mayroon talagang pasalubong. At uh, ang information nga, naglaro ito sa mga 100 million, thereabouts, depende. So with your permission, Mr. Chairman, may we hear from Commissioner uh, La Peña because this is a deviation from the so-called kalakaran. Yes. And on a positive note, gusto naman nating makarinig ng magandang istorya uh, galing sa Bureau of Customs. So, Mr. Chairman. Senator Laxon, with your permission, and I'm very excited to hear uh, Sid La Peña's uh, statement. I just want to be fair here. Uh, there were hands raised here, and I don't want them to say we're not uh, recognizing them to answer. Go ahead. Be brief, please. Mr. Estrella? Sir, uh, uh, just want to uh, make comment on some uh, very important points that Be was raised. Go ahead. Sir, number one, sir, uh, on the issue of bagman. Yes. If you notice, sir, in the past uh, discussion, yung mga bagman po na ina-identify, usually, yung pong mga tao nga hindi kilala. That's why they're called bagman. Uh -huh. Para kung hindi kilala, siguro, para hindi traceable kung sakasakali. Pero yung sabi po na nire-raise nila is uh, something unique. Si Joel po kasi, division chief po. Ako po yung director naman. So, sa akin no, medyo curious lang ako na parehong head, eh, kami yung dalawa na kokolekta direkta sa, sa mga tao as being alleged. Second point, uh, earlier, uh, Mr. Taguba made mention about a lot of circumstances wherein nang dating sa akin, parang kasama siya sa lahat ng sitwasyon. At alam na alam niya anong pinag-usapan, pagtapo ng pantalon, etc., etc. So, medyo curious lang ako doon sa mga pagkakataon na circumstances kasi sinasabi niya, pati yung may basurang laman, etc., etc. Kasi yung report po, sir, nababasa ko na lang eh. So, at isa pa po, sir, dapat ma malaman din po ng publiko, yung modus kasi, sir, sa labas, pagdating dito sa mga ganitong enforcement operation, marami po talaga nagre-represent, particularly sa CIIS sa labas. At uh, yan po ay uh, isa sa mga napag-usapan namin. Mga nagpapanggap, ng... mo. Yes, sir. Uh, kanina, minensyon ni Mark yung uh, una natin pagkikita. If you remember, umakit siya sa opisina. Ang pagpunta ni Mark, if I can remember it very accurately, sir, is uh, nagre-reklamo siya. Ang reklamo niya is uh, uh, dahil nga meron kaming uh, uh, allegedly uh, in-enforce na, na LOA sa isang uh, bodega, eh bakit daw pinadlock pa kasi nagbigay na sila? Yan ang sinabi niya. Yun po ang uh, natatandaan ko sinabi. Nagbigay na sila. Consistent. Doon siya sinabi. Yes sir. Nagbigay na eh, Hindi po. Mag Magkaiba po yung sinasabi kanina. Kasi kanina po sinasabi, nangihingi eh. Dito po sa natatandaan kong uh, reklamo niya, ang uh, pinunta nila doon is nagre-reklamo siya bakit pa pinadlock, nagbigay na sila. <coughs> so tinanong ko po yan, sino hong binigyan nyo? Ang sabi niya si Jojo Bakod. Sabi ko si Jojo Bakod, hindi yan taga CIIS. Hindi rin yan taga Kostom sa pagkakaalam ko. So bakit kayo nagbigay ng pera kay Mr. Jojo Bakod? Ang sabi nila, kasi parang ang pagkakaintindi ko sir, kamag-anak, as mentioned earlier do sa mga previous uh, uh, testimonies, though I cannot confirm ko talagang kamag-anak yun sir. But uh, I heard him uh, mention. Si Jojo Bakod po. Kamag-anak nila. <coughs> Mr. Mark Taguba kasi Tito Jojo yung tawag niya. Ah, okay. So okay. ako naman sir, curious lang ako, why will Jojo Bakod collect for us? Ito sir, uh, marami kasing uh, reports lagi yung, yung grupo na yun. Actually, hindi lang si Jojo, may mga a lot of names na, puro pen names na nangongolekta for us. So, tinanong ko siya, bak bakit kayo nagbigay ng pera doon? Eh, yun daw yung pangaareglo sa amin. That's why, pagbaba ni Joel noon, sinabi ko, tingnan nyo yan kung walang papel yan, move for seizure. Kasi may issue na sir eh. May issue na na, na may nangongolekta para sa amin. At hindi lang po yun sir, there are a lot of instances. Meron pa sir, Nagdeposito ng 1 million para sa CIIS. Buti na lang dineposito sa account. So, na-trace namin, sir. I, I had it investigated. Kaya po naman yata yun, sir, na area. Hindi ko na, sir, matanda. But, nagdeposito ng isang million para pang areglo rin sa amin. Nung trace namin, hindi na naman, sir, taga-custom. Taga-ibang uh, agencies ng gobyerno. Anyway, that is your defense na there are people representing you and we will take note of that.
Yeah, 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 yes, ipinoin ko lang po, sir, para yes. maliwanag yes, po, sir. Yes, I want to be sure that you got your say in answer to them. Now I will call uh, uh, Commissioner La Pena. Uh, I think that he has some very, very interesting and very important matters to discuss here concerning Pasalubong. Hindi pa ba on, Pasalubong? Yes, sir, Honor. Uh, Please sir, go sir. ahead, sir. Thank you. Well, um, uh, two weeks ago, uh, during my uh, my uh, media briefing, I was asked uh, several times if I have received pasalubong. I told them that I did not, I have not received uh, pasalubong. And uh, well, I, I was thinking that there's no such thing. But uh, two weeks ago, uh, somebody, I. I Two or three weeks ago, I started uh, receiving uh, bundles of uh, of uh, folders uh, for uh, tax uh, credit certificates. So I uh, I, I signed this as it it uh, comes to my table. It has been processed. It is legitimate. So I uh, I sign it and then uh, release it to uh, back to the to those who process it. And then uh, every week thereafter, uh, uh, another week, third week, uh, there were uh, uh, the same uh, bundles of these uh, folders uh, for this uh, tax credit certificate. And then uh, last week or the other week, a concerned uh, personnel come to my, came to my office and told me that uh, that is the source. The tax credit certificate is the source of the pasalubong. So I, when I learned about that, I asked uh, again, what are these, uh, uh, what I asked about this tax credit certificate. And uh, well, this is a legitimate claim for a tax refund by, of, uh, of companies, of uh, big companies. And uh, it's even uh, also, uh, uh, these are uh, these are uh, processed and uh, credited back to, the, to those big companies, such as uh, on tax exemptions, as uh, relayed by either the BIR or uh, the Department of Finance. And uh, we have uh, this, uh, or it could be the excess payment of tariff and duties, and uh, or refund due to non-arrival or cancellation of imports. It can be also. Uh, uh, the bad input and output tax uh, uh, that uh, has to be refunded back to the uh, company. And uh, these are over time. Uh, these are uh, uh, these are uh, pile, uh, filed piled up. Uh, yes, consolidated, and uh, uh, they they remain to be uh, there at the uh, Bureau of Customs. And then uh, it's acted the uh, the processing of this tax refund happens uh, when uh, a new a new uh, commissioner is de designated. And then uh, so when I learned about it, I immediately recalled all th those uh, tax credit uh, certificates. And uh, well, first to investigate if it's uh, if uh, the information I got from is concerned uh, concerned Bu Bureau of Customs personnel is uh, really true Co to be confirmed by other other uh, officers where this uh, this uh, processing of this tax credit cer certificate. Uh, goes through. Well, uh, others di did not want to talk, but uh, I have that information. So I recalled, I recalled uh, all those ta tax credit certificate, and uh, I intend to inform all those concerned that uh, we have processed their legitimate cra claims and will be issued to them without any consideration. What I was told is about uh, this, uh, this, credit, this uh, tax credit certificate, uh, about 3 to 7 percent is, uh, is uh, taken from there for the, 
for the pasalubong for the new commissioner. Sa kwenta mo, pag kinuwenta mo, based on the numbers that you saw, do sa mga tax credits, ano, mga magkano yung 3 to 7 percent? 3 percent, assuming that it is 1 billion euro honor, that's about... Uh, Yes. Sa isa? Yes. Um, uh, so, yes. pag na-consolidate, mga magkano ang abuti? Yes, assuming a total of uh, 1 billion euro honor, that's, that will be uh, at 3%, that will be... 300. 300. 30 or 30, uh, 30 million. Uh, 30. But, uh, yes, Mayor. Uh, 3% yes, uh, tama. Oh. Yeah. Mr. So, Chairman? Uh, but, uh, of course, uh, this is consolidated, so it will depend on the total amount. And so, uh, what I intend to do is, uh, to be, uh, to be uh, very transparent about it, is to... Uh, to award or uh, release this, award this uh, tax credit certificate uh, during the during the uh, flag raising ceremony and inform all co all everybody publicly that uh, this is being released and there's no any consideration on my part. Baka may mga nagsasabi na yan, eh, nakakatanggap ako nung pasalubong din. Uh, it has been, uh, I was asked by the media, I said, uh, no, I have not received. But yung pala, eh, ito pala yon, yung uh, tax credit uh, certificate, Your Honor. Mr. Chairman, uh, very quickly. Um, Commissioner La Peña, unang-una, I congratulate you for that. Kasi for the past so many years, yan po yung complaint ng napakaraming kumpanya na meron silang overpayment or hindi natuloy na shipment at hinahawakan ng BOC yung pera na dapat may balik sa kanila. So may I ask, yung pinakaluma po o the oldest tax certificate na meron ho kayo ngayon, anong taon po yan? I, I would bet that's not just last year. Baka tatlo, apat, limang taon na po siguro yan. Uh, I am not uh, sure of the oldest, uh, Your Honor, but I will verify and it, I will uh, inform you. Sige po. Can you give to the committee po yung listahan ng lahat ng mga kumpanya na meron pong refund na dapat pong makuha nila? Kasi yes, palagay ko po isang... Malakihang reforma po yan kung may babalik niyo po yung perang yan. In That's short, right, Mr. Commissioner, ang sinasabi ninyo, may overpayment, ayaw ibalik ng customs, nakikipag-areglo at 3%. Yan ho yung nangyayari. Well, uh, 3, to 3 to 7%. Yes, Your Honor, because if you hold, then uh, if you hold uh, that, the processing of that uh, tax credit uh, certificate, then uh, people will try to negotiate. Of course. So yun yung leverage no, ng customs doon po sa mga kumpanya. So kung i-release nyo po yan, um, lahat ng tax certificate refund, is that the correct term? Tax certification. Tax credit, cer uh, tax tax credit, credit certificate. Uh, tax owner. credit certificate. Kung ma-release nyo po yan at the soonest possible time, palagay ko po kayo na yung pinakamagaling na commissioner ng customs sa kabuuan ng Pilipinas because that's been a racket. Ang alam ko, racket yan ang napakatagal na po. Thank you po. Uh, Mr. Right. Chairman, hindi kaya possibility, uh, isang posibilidad na kasi pag tax credit certificate, regular ito eh, hindi lang tuwing darating bagong commissioner. Hindi ba possible na ito standard na lagayan tuwing may lalabas na tax credit, iba pa yung pasalubong. Kasi biglaan yung pasalubong pero ito, every now and then may dumarating na for refund, di ba? Tax credit, hindi lang tuwing may bagong commissioner. So, ano ba yung, what is this animal? Maka pwedeng makarinig tayo sa Bureau of Customs. Ano ba yung tax credit certificate? Yes, Attorney, Attorney Sebastian. Yeah. Sir, I was the secretariat, head secretariat of the tax credit committee for two years. Um, since time immemorial, sir, meron talagang nire-refund yung customs for excess payment or hindi dumating yung kargamento. Sa customs, so, tatlo yung pinagmumula ng tax credit certificates. Yung ordinary refund na based on excess duties and taxes paid, yun hong na-process sa BIR, eto ho yung mga claims for excess input VAT, diba? Kasi every quarter nagbabaya doon ng VAT returns, yung mga ano, nagpa-file ng VAT returns. So kung meron ho silang excess input VAT on the importation ho, after audit ng BIR, Pino forward ho sa customs for issuance of tax credit certificates. Kasi unlike BIR, customs so wala hong mechanism for payment of cash refunds. So yung tax credit certificate is a document issued to the claimant evidencing na 
ito, you, uh, you are given this certain amount as refund instead of cash. So, you know yung ginagamit nila, pambayad sa duties and taxes. Yung third naman po, yun yung claims na arise... Oh, sorry, ma'am. Excuse me, ha? Yung credit certificate, tax credit certificate, binabayad rin ng kumpanya kung magbabayad sila later. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Okay? I want to be clear about that. Yes, no? sir. Uh -huh. Kasi certificate siya, hindi cash siya, eh, di ba? Hindi po, uh -huh. So, pag magbabayad sila uli, ibabayad nila ngayon yung tax credit para... ma input do sa bayad nila for yes, the regular. Okay. Ni utilize nila. Yung, okay, right. yung TCC as payment. Yes. Yung pangatlo po, ito yung tax credit certificates arising from payment of duty drawback. Pina-process ito sa DOF. Duty drawback? Duty drawback ho. Okay. What is that? Ah, uh, eto ho yung mga pag dumating na raw mats, raw materials, binabayaran ng duties and taxes pag na-process ho at in-export kasi zero rated sales so yan. So walang input but nagki-claim mo sila ng refund dun sa binayari nilang duties and or VAT sa Delivery export. Nire export to yan. Uh, Usually mga BOI registered ho to. Uh, yun, yun. So, ah uh, matagal na ho yan. Matagal na ho yan yung pag-iissue ng tax credit certificates. Uh, two issues ho. Yung tanong nyo po kung ano yung pinaka-latest na tax credit certificates. Noong 2006 ho, nagkaroon ng revalidation ng lahat ng tax credit certificates na in-issue. Kasi ho, di ba matandaan nyo, nagkaroon ng controversy sa DOF, yung Task Force 156, yung mga fake TCCs. But those were for BOI issued. TCCs. So, for BOC-issued TCCs, so, nagkaroon ng revalidation lahat ng TCCs. So, yung isang TCC ho natin, that's good for five years. Okay? Unless i-revalidate mo siya, which is good for another ten years. So, ang pinaka-earliest, so, siguro pinaka-matandang TCC counting back sa 2017, that would be around 2012 or 2011. Five, five years, six ho, years. Six years na po. <clears throat> Ito yung nareklamo ng mga Japanese firms, di ba? Yes, sir. Kayo, Dahil uh -oh. pagka nag-ihiring kami, narinig namin, two years, three years, hindi pa rin nakukuha. Uh -oh. E sa Japan daw, within six months, kuha nila. Uh -oh. So sinasadya pala ito. Hindi, kasi VAT refund ho yan eh. Kaya because of that complaint, nagkaroon na tayo ng program dun sa monetization ng VAT refunds. But only insofar as BIR process na VAT refunds lang po, not sa BOC. Tapos, sir, yung sinasabing natagal, na tenga, kasi nung 20, I think, 2011 or 2012, nag-issue ho ng COA findings. Nag-issue ho, sir, ng COA findings na nag-notice, nag-issue siya ng notice of a uh, charge for all TCCs in issue ng BOC As a consequence ho ng claims for VAT refund. So natenga ho yun, noong 2014 lang ho na-resolve yung issue nung tungkol sa VAT claims na fina-file sa BIR. So 2014, natuloy ho yung processing and everything. Nagulat lang ho ako na yun yung source ng pasalubong. Uh, Com, sorry po, pero hindi ho talaga. Iba ho yun. Kasi sa totoo lang, meron nung nagpa-file na misan pasalamat ho, yung, yung ganyan, na parang ano lang because na-expedite. Yun ho, pero walang demand, walang... F, ano, Mr. Bastian, are you saying na hindi pwedeng maging source ng pasalubong yun? Hindi ho. Ano, let me finish first, ha? And I, because I, I may tend to agree with you what you're saying, but I'm just trying to find out whether there are loopholes. Dahil yung tax credit, para naintindihan naman nanonood, nakikinig, ay talagang sumobra yung bayad, di ba? Yes, sir. Excess ko talaga. Lahat yan, excess. Iniipon yan at dapat ibabalik ka agad yan. Opo. Pag binagalan mo, graph yan eh. Opo. Parang costumes yan, ayaw mo palabasin para lagyan ka, di ba? So, ang sinasabi mo, hindi pwedeng yan ang maging source ng pasalubong lamang. Meron bang lusot siya sa pasalubong? Pwede bang gabitin yan? Sa pasalubong, sa tingin mo? Sir, hindi ho. Hindi. Say, say ito ng microphone. Sir, hindi ho. Kasi after the fact ho to eh. Well, may record na. Di ba? May record na eh. Pero pwede sabihin, okay, ito na, milyon-milyon na ito. O para ibigay ko sa'yo, eh, ibigay ka ng 3%, 7%. Yung sinasabi ni... Uh, Commissioner La Peña. Parang hindi. Pwede rin kasi kung bigla. Pwede yan. May bagong upo. Pwede rin pagkuna ng pasalubong. 
Hindi po pwede. Pero pinag-uusapan nga namin ng Senator Laxon kanina, baka magkaroon ng recocation kung malaking kumpanya yan. Dahil yung audit lumang yeah, publicly eh. listed. Oh. Publicly listed, no? So, mahirap, no? Kasi streamlined ako pero, talaga. Pero maganda pa rin yung sinasabi ni ni Sid La Peña na ina-announce siya sa flag ceremony. Yeah, okay lang po yun. In Maka fact, transparent oh, yun. Napakaganda nun. Yes, sir. Because sinasabi oh, niya, oh, huwag na kayong mag-delay ng bayad ngayon. Sir, in fact, sinusuportahan ko yun kasi I was the secretariat nga, oh, head. Kasi minsan, ho, inaamin ko naman po, yung mga claims for refund, minsan natatagal sa ibang offices, not really doon sa tax credit secretariat, yeah. kundi sa mga offices. Pero masasabi mo, meron pa rin pipigayin para lumabas yung tax credit. Sir, hmm. para ipwersang ibigay po. Yeah, no, eh, eh, tatagalan no. eh. Siguro, parang to facilitate. Correct, ano yun yes, na yun eh. To facilitate eh, nga, like, the issuance of the tax credit po. Parang dumulas yung bureaucracy. Para, oh, oh, yes, eh, to facilitate no. the issuance ko, po. Eh, Mr. Chairman, yes. be that as it may, nothing is taken away from Commissioner La Peña yes, yes. for, you know, making public itong sinanigan, it's one form of sinanigan eh, na yun nga, tax credit, and uh, kanina, I, I'm under advising him, as I had advised him earlier this morning, na mas magandang tama yung personal na bigay, i-announce, ito, wala ito, wala akong tatanggapin, at wala akong inautorize na tumanggap, ito yung inyong refund. Mas malinaw yung ganon, and kasi, you know, it should st really start from the top, no? Wala nang substitute talaga doon sa tinatawag ng leadership example. It is second to none. Lagi ko sinasabi yan na, and I think si Commissioner La Peña is starting on the right foot. No? Dahil ito, binubulgar niya ito not to, you know, to receive some accolades of, uh, of sorts, but really he wants to clean the bureaucracy, the Bureau of Customs. Ang pikusapan namin kanina ni, ni, ni Chairman, Baka itong tax credit, yung pasalubong, baka iba pa rin yung source. At uh, we receive information na uh, during the time of Commissioner Peldon, medyo short pa nga ako na 7 million. Kasi 100 lang sinabi ko, ang uh, information na tanggap is umabot siya na 107 million. Purportedly, uh, yung portion na yung, ng, uh, ng pasalubong, pwede nang galing din sa tax credit certificate, but not all. Kasi ito ay isa regular a uh, thing in the Bureau of Customs, hindi ba? Hindi ba? Kaya lang, kung naiipon nga at pagpasok ng bagong commissioner, kung sino man yung umiipit sa baba, sa kay bubuhos, na sir, pirmanan nyo na ito, meron ditong 3%. Possibly rin yun. Di ba? Ibig ko sabihin, and I'd like to commend the uh, Commissioner La Peña because out and out, sinabi niya, hindi na ma-delay ito mga tax credits. Pero my other question is this. As a lawyer, are tax credits parang better notes na pwedeng kunin ko? I can trade it for cash? Sorry. Transferable? Uh, transferable kasi yung na-assign yung tax credit, pero pambayad pa rin po sa duties and taxes. That's right. Yeah, no, nonetheless, yes. Yes. transferable. Doon lalabas... Do Doon lalabas, yung, doon lalabas yung palusot, yung pampadulas. Pag tinransfer, meron talbog yun. Di ba? Pwede yung i-discount yeah, uh, para makuha. Usually, di ba? Usually. Para makuha ka agad yung pera, di-discount, may kumita na kagad doon. Tama po ba yan? Kasi that's the transaction between the guys. Kaya nga, yeah, kaya nga it's a transactional society. Yeah. May cash sunduhan. Sir. Di ba? So, eh, hindi naman tama rin yung sinasaya mo na ganun lang yan. Uh -oh. Pero, yung pasalubong, iba pa ang source yan. Ito, no, tip of the iceberg lang, Commissioner uh, Sid, na ito ay tip of the iceberg at pinag-uusapan nga namin kanya ni Senator Laxon. Mas malaki pa siguro yung darating dyan na hindi pa natin nakikita at malapit na natin makita. Alright? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> The one that uh, get my uh, that got my uh, attention here is uh, the word pasalubong. I was told by that uh, by that uh, personnel. By the way, I would like to uh, to commend the uh, the uh, support of uh, a uh, bureau of customs personnel in our fight against uh, against corruption.
and it came from them. And uh, what he said is, Jan manggagaling sir yung pasalubong. But that could uh, also be brownie points because like I said, tama yun sinabi niyo, binulgar niyo, dahil talagang malaking issue palagi sa amin niya na kinukomplain ng mga big business na pinipisil at pinipigil yung paglabas ng tax credit at because it's a transferable document na pwedeng ipalit ng cash or discount, doon lumalabas yung lagay. So, uh, yun ho ang gusto ko lang sabihin na uh, hindi lang yung tax credits ang pinaggagalingan yan. Alright? Dahil ang nagbibigay talaga sa totoo lang, talingin ko nga si Mark Taguba, si Mr. Ruben Taguba, tagal na kayo dyan, hindi po ba totoo na ang nagbibigay dyan ay yung mga fixer, yun talagang gusto mapabilis lahat, para yun ang barang pasiglab ninyo na maasahan nyo kami, nagpapakilala kami sa inyo, pag binigyan namin kayo ng pasalubong, intindihin nyo kami dahil lalabas lahat na mas mabilis yung aming kargamento. Di ba po ito yan, Mark? 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 Yes po. Bakit itiis tatay mo? Akala ko po siya yung sasagot. Eh, kung umuho ka na eh. Tatanayin ko pa siya pagkatapos. O, totoo yan? Yes po. Mang Ruben, totoo po ba yan? Your Honor, ang pasalubong kasi, ito ho, system talaga ng pasalubong. Kunwari, gusto mong hawakan ang resin. Resin, resin. Ang gagawin mo, Kausapin mo yung komisyoner. Sabihin mo, akin lang ang resin. Bibigay ako ng 50 o sandaan. Solo ko ang resin. Ganun no. Kanya-kanya. 50 milyones. Opo. Wala naman wow. tausad dito. Wala naman tausad na pa na. Pano yung Puro milyon ho ito. <laughs> Kasi yung, yung, ang broker hindi yung nagbibigay. Yung mismong importer. Tumatawa ko hindi siya tuwa. Tumatawa ko out of derision. Talagang uh, nakakaiyak na, nakakatawa na, nakakaiyak eh. Ayun ho talaga ang... So, uh, pag sinabi ko itong section na ito, resin, akin yan, may 50 million ka, may 100 million ka. Tama ba yan? Tama po. O, oh, yun. Tapos, kunwari, gusto mo yung agri-products. Ganun din. Langis. Um, Mang Ruben. Langis. Uh, Mang Ruben, pag ganun, na sosolohin, sinong kausap? Ah, hindi ka pwede hindi komisyonera ang kausap ko dyan. Pag It, sinabi mong akin yung resin, so sa bagong upo, komisyoner lang pwede kausap. Komisyoner lang po. Meron bang nakamonopolize ng resin panahon ni Pyeldon? Nag-uumpisa pa lang sana. Hindi, pero merong nakaporma. Meron. Na kanya. Sino meron yan? po. Sino? Wow, eh... Uh... Baka baka suwan po tayo dyan. Kung sabihin niyo, wow, ha? Ako ang gumawa ng wow. Baka baka suwan. Ano, sino yan? Sino? Sabihin niyo na. Nag-uumpisa na tayo magbukal-bagbukat ka. Hindi kami titigil dito hanggang hindi mabulat na tla dyan. Eh, may advice po ng aming lawyer. Baka tama, baka suwan ako. Pero meron. Executive session. Pero meron. Meron po. At may pangalan. Kilala ninyo. Oo, siyempre po. Kilala ko. Alam naman lahat ng mga... Lahat ng letra ba ang pakala ng mga pinay? Lahat ng mga... One syllable. One syllable? Oh, matawag ito. Alam mo ng mga ano yan, mga taga-custom yan. Alam. Pero lang kay Commissioner dahil, you know, bago lang siya. Ganun lang yung pasalubong na sistema. Regarding yung sa mga... So parang binibigyan mo ng franchise, isang section. Yes, yes po. Ganun talaga. Okay. Pero sa pinakikita ni Commission La Peña, wala pala ikaw, wala makipag-uusap sa kanya. Ah, oh, wala pa ho. Kasi lahat takot eh. Sa ngayon, takot. Maraming nagpapanggap na na ganun-ganun. Kaya lang, wala pa. Hindi pa naka ano. Pero sa pinakikita niyang ganyan, na pati yung tax credit, gagawin niyang napaka-transparent. Sa tingin niyo, may makipag-uusap sa kanya? Mga ngahas? Ay, mawala. Matatakot yun. Ang importante lang ho, meron siyang advisor na taga-custom, nang galing sa custom o custom, na nakakaintindi lahat. Kung outsider lahat ho ang kasama niya, nako, mahirap ho yun. Papalubutan siya. Ma mahirap. Okay. Pakakuha lang siya ng tao na 
gusto na rin niyang sumama sa pagbabago, yun na yun, shoot na yun. That's a very interesting piece of information. Sa so, lumalabas dito, uh, for sa kalaman na lahat, maraming sections sa custom, di ba? Section uh, 15 ba yun? 15 sections? Hindi lang po, doon lang racket kasi, pati sa auction, malakas yan. Auction rin. Marami yan. Every eh, pasalubo department, rin yung auction. Every department meron. Uh -huh. Sorry to say. Kaya lang, uh, kung gusto talaga ang pagbabago, marami naman sistema na babago. So kung ila-lifestyle ila -life check natin lahat yung mga customs commissioner nung araw, tatamaan niya? Nako, laglag lahat yun. Sigurado ko yun. Laglag lahat? Laglag lahat. O, oh, mabigat siya. Okay. What more can I say, Mr. Chairman? <laughs> We're speechless. As the brother of the shooter of at Las Vegas said, we're dumbfounded. By the way, if, uh, Mr. Chito Pacheco is here, uh, and the president of Integrated News, and there are some other people who arrived. Uh, who's the gentleman? See them? Ah, attorney broker, broker and association, broker association. Yeah, yes, Mr. Chair. All right. Good morning. Do you confirm what has been said here? Uh, you practice that? Uh, what, uh, sorry, Your Honor, I just arrived. What, on what particular matter, Your Honor? In the matter of Pasalubong, uh, na bawat section, may mga fixer na kakausapin yung uh, chairman, yung bagong chairman, ng, yung customs uh, commissioner, na bibigyan sila. Tatanayin ko lang muna sa dali, bago masagutin. Mang Ruben, yung bang Pasalubong, Para lang doon sa commissioner o para rin sa deputy commissioner? Commissioner lang po yun. Commissioner lang yun. Tama yung sinasabi ni namin ni Senator Lacson na dapat yung nangunguna, yung namumuno ay dapat beyond, the, beyond reproach. Hindi dapat uh, malalaman na tumatanggap. Pagka tumanggap yun, magigiba lahat dyan. Actually, commissioner, ay, your honor, no? nandito po si deputy naging deputy commissioner ng enforcement. Australia. Unang niti si Australia. Collector Alcaraz. Ah, Tony Alcaraz. Ah. Unang meeting ni si ni ano ni Commissioner Pildor. Niyaya niya ako mag-attend sa meeting ng mga broker. Una kong tanong kay Commissioner. Commissioner, ang nag-uumpisa naman dito ng tara, Commissioner Galit na galit, di ba? Yan ang dyan siya, oh. Galit na galit siya. Sabi niya, papatayin niya kung may mangyayari ulit. Second na, na sinabi ko sa kanya, yung, ano, yung section, yung section, tanggalin niya yung section. Wala nang section, section, para walang, you know, hindi na kailangan na, palakasin kasi doon, eh, kung saan ka malakas, doon ka lalapit. Yun hong uh, sinabi ko, tatlo yun eh, na sinabi ko na regarding doon sa pagbobroker, no? na, 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 nalaman lahat yan ni, ni Atty. Alcaraz. Lahat yung mga sinabi ko, totoo yun. Dahil ang alam ko, nung nilapit sa akin na si Commissioner Pyle doon, na gusto daw niyang pagbabago, nilapit ng taga-isap. Taga Akala ko totoo. Army? Army. Oh. Army. Is intelligence service and armed forces? Opo. Oh. Nilapit, Nilapit kasi sa akin. Ano? Kasi may grupo dati ng ISAP dyan. Nung time ni General... Uh, Deliosa. 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 Ang medyo yun, naging malinis ang custom nun eh. Medyo talagang ano... Pati yung, uh, yung pagbibigay ng tara, pinabantayan ng gusto. Hindi nagtatarang polis, CIS, takot na takot yan. Kaya ang taas ng, ng tax, pinabantayan talaga yan, pinabackround okay. yan eh. <coughs> Dahil, tuloy mo lang yung sinabi ni Commissioner Pyle doon, gusto niya ng pagbabago. Gusto niya ng pagbabago, oh, five ano and a half ano hours nangyari? kami nag-usap. Ano Pero, nangyari? Binigay, binigay ko nga yung listahan eh. Ito yung... Area sa Niningil, Tara-Tara, ganito. Ito yung mga taong notorious. To be, sorry doon sa mga ano, no? 
Sinabi ko, ito yung mga notorious itong bantayan mo. Sabi niya, sige, akin. Binigay ng tagi-isap. After two months, nabago yung sitwasyon eh. Oh. Ano nagbago? Nagkaroon na ng tara eh. So, kinilala lang yung mga players? Kinilala lang yung players. Kasi Tapos, hindi ag yan magtatara ang baba. Pagkatapos nag-negotiate na. Your Honor, hindi eh, sa, yan. Sa kanan na punta nun? Nabura ka na? Actually, humingi lang sa akin ng advice eh. Pagkatapos nun, wala ka na narinig? Wala na akong narinig. Nalaban ko na lang. Nagtarahan na? Nagtarahan uh, na. Alam ng agent yan, pagka hindi pumayag ang komisyoner, walang magtatara. Sigurado ko yan. Sigurado ko yan. Pag hindi pumayag ang komisyoner. Proven na yan. Ever since, huwag lang pumayag ang komisyoner. Hindi magtatara iba pa. Okay, Thank just you, for uh, just for the record, no? uh, and just to, be, to make sure that uh, we are transparent and fair, Mr. Fildon or Captain Fildon is still under contempt and is detained here. Uh, every meeting I have asked the Sergeant at Arms to ask him if he is willing to come. Uh, I may have overlooked that fact today, so I will ask the Sergeant at Arms to go there if he is willing to come here so that he can testify uh, para he has a chance to say something if he wants to. Uh, otherwise, we will keep on putting him in contempt until he speaks up. Because it's a total disrespect of the Senate, the Giragawanya. So the Sergeant at Arms is uh, directed to ask, uh, accompanied by somebody from the Blue Ribbon Committee, uh, to uh, go there and ask whether he's willing to come up now. And if he's not, then we cannot do anything. Okay, go ahead, please. Thank you. Uh, Ping, uh, you have any more questions? Ni mo pagsalita, Mr. Chairman. Are you shocked? Or... Attorney Alcaraz, do you confirm what uh, Mr. Taguba mentioned a while ago? You were present during that meeting. Uh. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, I, I was present during that meeting that uh, Mr. Uh, Ruben Tuguba was mentioning. And I confirm uh, that uh, all the things that he mentioned to the commissioner, it was made in open court, so to speak. Uh, a lot of people are there, were there. Ano yung mga marching orders at the time na binigay ng commissioner? Well, I distinctly recall that after that meeting with the players, with the brokers, the commissioner uh, uh, and Mandy Anderson was there, m met with the BOC employees, the, uh, some, not everyone. So I suppose the names who were invited, uh, Mr. Chairman, came from a list. And if I remember it right, I think it was uh, the 4th of July. That was a Friday, uh, if I am not mistaken, when he called people from assessment, from enforcement, from various departments, uh, hodgepodge, uh, performing different functions in the bureau, Mr. Chairman, and he met with them. And that... Um, um, one thing that I really couldn't forget was uh, he threatened uh, the people there na pag corrupt sila, eh, papatayin niya. May pinatay ba siya? Uh, buti na lang, sir, wala. So walang, walang corrupt? I have no personal knowledge about that, Mr. Chairman. Yung meeting ng uh, mga players ng Bureau of Customs, sino nag-invite nun? Or who caused the invitation? Kasi sinabi nyo kayong pinag-ipon ng mga players. Tama ba yun, Mang Ruben? Actually, nasa kantin lang ho ako nun. Meron ako dyaryo eh. Tama yung sabi ni Mr. Pinawin. Ang uh, nakita ko ni ni Atornel Caras, sabi niya, mag ka, may meeting ng mga, mga broker. So, Sino nagpatawag nun, Atorne? 
Uh, Mr. Chairman, it was the commissioner. Uh, I, I, I was uh, informed by the commissioner that there's going to be a meeting with the stakeholders. Okay. Then I saw ang tao ko po kay Mr. Taguba, Kuya Ruben, because at that time, during the 90s, when I was the special assistant for airport operations, katulong ko po si Kuya Ruben sa enforcement act activities doon. Sabi ko, Kuya, ikaw ang maraming alam. Mas maganda sa yung manggaling, ikaw ang magsalita doon. That's what I told him. Sino-sino players nandun sa meeting na yon sa pagkatanda ninyo? Uh, alam mo, Mr. Mr. Chairman, I have been out of circulation for uh, seven years. So yung, mga really don't yung mga natatandaan nyo lang? Ang na natatandaan na ko lang ho doon na uh, naabutan ko sa... I was informed later on, it, uh, yung, the Tevez Brothers nandun yata. Tevez Brothers. Sino pa ang nandun? Uh, Mang Ruben, sino pa yung mga nandun? Without saying na naglalagay sila o nagtatara sila, sino yung mga present noon na mga players? Aside from the Tevez Brothers. Tevez. Ang Tevez Brothers, ito yung sa agriculture, ano? Ang opo, specialty opo. nila. Ito opo. yung kumbaga may resin, Meron na namang sa Agri, di ba? Yung Tevez Brothers, ito yung kilalang sa Agri. Sino pa nandun? Yung kanya-kanyang uh, field of expertise. Ah, uh, grupo ni, ano, ni paring David Tan. David Tan. Ano naman yung specialty niya? GMO yan. Ano yun? Ah, General Merchandise. Opo. Sino pa? Torrentino. Ano naman yung kanya? Ahalo-halo ho. Ito yung mga na-mention ko sa aking privilege page, Opo. mga pangalan. Okay. Hindi galing sa inyo yan, for the record. Ah, hindi po. Hindi galing sa inyo. In fact, gusto ko lang sana sabihin po, ano, kasi yung binulgar ng anak ko, wala ho akong alam doon. Ah. Okay. Uh, kasi maraming ho tumawag sa akin ng mga kaibigan ko sa custom. Dahil dyan, dyan ho ako nang galing. Parang Tumalabas, tinawag ko daw yung ang Bureau of Custom. Sabi ko, wala akong alam dyan. Ang naengkwentro nila, yung anak ko, na hindi nga considered amateur eh. Masyadong bata. Kaya, hindi ko rin na para. Eh, Marino naman yun, wala akong nalaman sa kanya. Silabi niya na lahat. Pag bulgar, ang gusto ko lang malaman, bago tayo mawala. Sino pa yung nandong players? Tolentino, David Tan, uh, Tevez Brothers, sino pa? Tinayo. Group. Tinayo, sino pa? Marami. Mga, sino, ano, sino uh, mga taga? Ano, si... Si Tan? Jeffrey? Sino ba yung... Actually, nandiyan lahat sa listahan nyo eh. Oo nga. Gusto ko lang i-confirm nyo. Nasa listahan nyo. Okay. Sino-sino mga taga-customs naman, organic, or yung mga bagong assigned, mga, mga consultants, ang nandun sa meeting na yun? Sino mga kasama ni Commissioner Pael doon ah, sa meeting na yun? Nandiyan si si Antonio Alcaraz, nandiyan pa si, at, si General De Diosa noon. Nandiyan pa. Deliosa. Sige, sino pa? Saka yung attorney na parang igorot yun eh. But next? Attorney ano? Magsusi. Ito sa office ni Commissioner. Par bago lang yun eh. Bata pa. Ando ba si Chris Bulastig? Hindi ko po na... Tornel Karas, yung mga natatandaan yung nandun. Nawagan pala yung nawagan. Uh, Mr. Chairman, ang natatandaan ko, yung minention po ni uh, Mr. Taguba, si former Deputy Commissioner Del Llosa, magkatabi po kami. And I distinctly recall, pinuri pa nga ni uh, Mr. Taguba, si Deputy Commissioner Del Llosa. Then, I think, if I recall, uh, the most of the young lawyers then that uh, uh, Sino, yung mga former young commissioner, lawyers. Uh, I, 
that was the first time I saw them, Mr. Chairman. Eh. So, yeah, pero kilala mo sila. Eventually, nakilala mo. Well, I met Mandy before that meeting when we had a um, consultative meeting with uh, former Commissioner Paraino. Uh, si Mandy lang po yung uh, natatanda ko because... More or less, ko. ilang players ang present doon. At saka bakit kailan patawag ng players? Sid, ikaw ba magpapatawag ng players? I don't have that plan. Of course not. As, as, as of this time, no plans, ah. Your Honor. Of course not. Why would you call for the players? Anong intention mo? Kung gusto mo mga ako na information, one or two players, pwede mong kausapin... In confidence, hindi yung open, andyan lahat yung players kakausapin mo. Iba intention mo, hindi ba? Mang Ruben, ikaw, kung halimbawa ang ganun, tatawagin mo lahat ang players in a meeting? Hindi po. Kung kailangan mo lang information sa lang na player, pwede na yun. Play my point. So pag pintawag mo lahat ang players, anong nakita niyong intention? Ayun na. Being an old-timer. Using your experience, your knowledge. Para ma-identify mo lahat sila. Your Honor. Para? Para sa tara naman talaga yun. Yes, for the record, the Sergeant at Arms went to see Captain Feldon and he constantly refuses to appear before the committee. And so, we... We just wanted to say that for the record so that they cannot say that we are not, not giving him any chance at all. Uh, okay, go ahead. Yes, Mr. Chairman, very interesting topic. Ayoko sanang iwanan ito kasi medyo mahaba yung ito, ang starring na naman dito si Pinawin eh. Pero kung mayro pa susunod na hearing, mas gusto ko si siguro na doon na lang i-focus kasi mahabang istorya ito tungkol sa LOA, sa, w, ano, sa mission order, Kumuha ng sample, ang nire-raid, ang sinasabi kulang sa binayaran taxes and duties, pero ang kinukuha, sample, baka raw fake. Hindi ko maintindihan bakit fake yung hinahanap, samantalang customs duties, customs matters ang pag-uusapan. At kung ano yung namagitan pa doon sa raid, yun sana ang gusto kong mag, uh, may walk through tayo kung ano yung kalakaran o kung ano yung tamang procedure taliwas doon sa ginawa ni Pinawin. But, you know, It can, this can wait, actually, because I don't want, don't want to leave this particular topic dahil ito yung meat at saka yung gist ng aking uh, 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 privilege speech na talaga merong tara during the time of file doon na pinagkakatanggit-tanggit niya hanggang ngayon. So... Well, uh, I am waiting also for Senator Aquino to ask, uh, she asked Mandy Anderson to come down here and I will wait for him. Uh, and I will respect what uh, Senator Lockson has stated that uh, we will have another hearing on this matter. Uh, I just want to announce uh, that uh, we have already completed our report uh, on the matter of drugs and partial tariff report which should come out this afternoon. I just want to uh, also announce that we're opening, uh, I will be authoring a resolution this afternoon And I just want to give our friends from PIDEA and NBI and all the other law enforcement fair warning because I, uh, we have been doing a lot of research on the sa mga drugs na nako-confiscate sa Jario at saka sa report ninyo pero ang nasusunog ay hindi nagtatali. This opens the floodgates to suspicion na pinapaikot yung droga o pinapalusot. I think that is a fair uh, thing to conclude. Kung hindi talaga may paliwanag yan, dapat may paliwanag. Uh, so there will be a resolution this afternoon sa Senado on that matter. So I also would like to ask already uh, Pideya to complete your records all over the country so that we could correct the problems now of uh, collecting the information. Unang-una, dapat uh, yung quantities dapat hindi gram o kilogram, isa lang dapat para hindi nakakalito. At kung nasa na yung judge and uh, yung uh, 
yung uh, status ng case because again I would like to apologize uh, for being misled and I will say this in no uncertain terms the committee was misled that Judge uh, Gascon had not ordered the destruction of drugs as uh, reported to us by PDEA and by NBI. In fact, I think you knew that at that time, kaya lang the Secretary of Justice was here and he was not properly informed. That is my suspicion. But in fact, and I had to talk all the way to the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, because I sit in the Judicial Bar Council. Sabi ko, bakit nabalita ako, nagpapasunog, pero nire-report ng PDEA, hindi rin nagpapasunog, because I found out after na nagpasunog na siya. So, uh, I think it is only fair that PDEA or NBI apologize to the judge because I was ready to ask him to be here, as I told the Chief Justice. Na kung ang judge hindi pinapasunog, then there is something wrong. And uh, pinaliwanag sa amin na hindi naman pala totoo at siya yung nagpapasunog ng drugs. And in the process, nung inimbestiga namin yan, ng committee, ng uh, staff. Nahihirapan kaming i-reconcile you now holding drugs at nasusunog ng drugs. In fact, for starters, I have uh, Mr. Chito Pacheco, head of uh, integrated waste in Metro Manila. And so, before I start with him, uh, I can moto proprio already conduct an investigation on this magsasalasalabat na ito, pero ihiwalay ko ito sapagat gusto ko makakonsentrate dun sa kita-kita uh, na in-expose si Senator Laxon because napakaalaga noon para talaga matulungan natin ang customs na malinis na yan. Sapagat so, it is downright unfair na maniningil tayo ng mga bagong buwis tapos ang kapal-kapal pala ng pera na hindi nakukolekta dito dahil sa corruption. And we will intend to pursue that and I support Senator Luxon all the way on this expose. And of course, Senator uh, uh, Sid La Pena. Look, looking forward, it may be interesting to find out how Commissioner La Pena intends to pursue his uh, reform program sa, and how to sustain. Ina mas importante. So, if you may, pwede bang bigyan mo lang kami ng maski bird's eye view? Ano yung intention mo sa customs para malinis talaga? For starters, are you going to continue with the benchmarking? Your Honor, um, I uh, did not allow benchmarking. You do not allow benchmarking don't anymore. Allow benchmarking. My That's guidance to the, all the collectors is uh, correct valuation. That's, uh, that caused the uh, relief of uh, the collector of Port of Manila and the... Uh, Manila International Container Port. And uh, there will be more uh, relief of collectors who will not follow the guidance that it should be correct valuation. And then um, um, shortly maybe uh, the uh, chief of the uh, sections that uh, are uh, still benchmarking will also be relieved. Uh, I would like you to continue but uh, you, you triggered off a question to me because uh, there is a statement and we have to treat it seriously and I don't agree with it that uh, this, this president take over customs. I don't agree with that. Uh, he has more important things to do. This is important, but I think he has more important things to do. However, the question of Senator Luxon is very, very appropriate because we want to know kung kaya niyong linisin yan. Because uh, uh, yung benchmarking talaga, eh, nag-uumbisa, kunyari tataasan yan, tapos babawasan. Pero kung talagang kukolektayin nyo lahat yan, at susundin nyo lahat yung mga patakaran na dapat magawa yan, we can be like any other country na malinis yung customs. So, could you like to explain that to us, please? Yes, Your Honor. I'm aside optimistic. From, aside from transparency, which you have already started, Okay. Yes, Your Honor. I am optimistic that uh, we can do the uh, reforms in the Bureau of, Co Bureau of Customs and bring back the good image of uh, the Bureau of Customs. And uh, 
At the start, uh, I prepared uh, five uh, points priority program, uh, which we are following. But uh, at the same time, uh, the executive uh, committee of uh, the uh, Bureau of Customs are uh, working on a uh, more detailed uh, plans for uh, a short term, medium term, and a long term uh, plan to your honor. But for now, we have this uh, five points priority program. Number one is uh, to stop uh, corruption. And uh, uh, the things that I have done for uh, on this uh, on this uh, first uh, first uh, program is uh, you, when I assumed office as the uh, as the uh, commissioner, I uh, gave a guidance that there will be no pasalubong, no tara, no gift, and no take policy. And then. Uh, I suspended the green lane, and uh, uh, the one that's working now is uh, just the red lane and the yellow lane. So uh, uh, whatever arrangement uh, or, or that is being done by, uh, by uh, the players and those, uh, and those in the assessment, uh, especially on, on uh, misdeclaration, that will be uh, checked when uh, those uh, container vans passes through the X-ray. And then, uh, yeah. And then, uh, when I suspended the green lane, I, uh, I uh, saw to it that there, there will be 24 hours operation of all X-rays. And uh, all standby X-rays were also um, utilized for the purpose, and uh, also uh, to support that uh, that uh, program, uh, we have uh, detailed uh, examiners on a 24 hours uh, operation to support the uh, the operations of this of the X-ray. All of these are being done uh, while monitoring the possible congestion that may uh, that may uh, ha that may happen so far. Before you continue, sir, sorry for interrupting. Are the X-rays have the X-rays been utilized before in full? No, Your Honor, it's not. Ilang percentage po ang umandar? Ah, all were percent, eighty percent. Yeah, one hundred percent functioning, Your Honor. But uh, there were X-rays that were not being used. Uh, the explanation I got is uh, the arrows the arrow is time by so that uh, when uh, a uh, an X-ray uh, will bug down, then there will be another X-ray that will uh, replace it. So I, I told them that uh, uh, let's utilize all. Pag nag-bug down na, tsaka i-stand by, i-repair. But the meantime, that all of the, uh, while these are functioning, it, functioning, it should be utilized so, so that maximum utilization uh, and uh, there will be no congestion. Well, there are two things that can happen. Maanda nga yung X-ray, pero malabo ang mata nung tumitingin sa X-ray. Kailangan ng pampalino. Nangyayari ba yan? Well, that's something that uh, will be addressed also, Your Honor. That's one. Yeah. Two, do you think that you need more x-rays? Because it's important that uh, you have the wherewithal, the logistics to make sure that you can do your job properly. It's yes, budget Your Honor. time. Yes, Your Honor. And um, we need the uh, more modern x-rays. Are you requesting, sir, for new x-rays? Are you requesting for new x-rays? Yes, Your Honor. We are. In this budget, they have you submitted that to the Department of Finance. Yes, Your Honor. Ilan hong X-ray and that the And from where are, are you going will, to be? You're going to bid it, right? Yes, Your Honor. I, I will. Uh, I will check, Your Honor, the number of X-rays that we have requested for. for no, because uh, this this week we will start the budget already. Kung kailangan may habol yan, habol na natin. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. You only Honor. have one one day. Practically, because we will be meeting Thursday, Friday, Monday to Friday, para tapusin yung budget. We're going to finish it in seven days, in less than seven days. So it is my suggestion to you, sincerely, that whatever there is that you need in terms of equipment, sabihin nyo na. Because kung mahuli yan, maapektuhan na naman ang collection ng customs. Thank you, Your Honor. Do you agree with that, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm not saying this because... I think that uh, you need all the help you can get, but uh, it must be needs-driven, not supply-driven. 
Yes, Your Honor. I advise you to think about that because maraming lalapit sa inyong supplier. Uh, pero dapat yung kailangan nyo talaga ang kunin nyo, yung needs driven. Ano po? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Go ahead po. So to continue, Your Honor, uh, file... Uh, uh, I have given uh, a clean slate uh, for uh, for our personnel in the Bureau of Customs. I also implemented uh, the one-strike policy. That's why uh, I started relieving those who does not follow the uh, the, the guidelines, the the, uh, the guidance that uh, I've been giving. And then, of course, sir, uh, sir yes, Your Honor. You say one-strike policy, and you say you've removed people. How are you going to replace them? And how do you really replace people in customs? Diyan pumapasok yung may rekomendasyon si Congressman, si Senador, si Governor, ang Office ng Presidente, may request. How do you replace people? Are you going to professionalize the selection of new customs uh, uh, inspectors? Yes, Your Honor. But for, now, but for now, for the immediate uh, action that uh, has to be done, we, uh, uh, when, we re when I relieve uh, collectors, I uh, make the deputy as uh, the officer in charge. And if he performs better than the collector, he might just become the collector, Your Honor. Because uh, most of my career has been in the executive. Ang pinakamahirap talaga magpalit eh. Magpalit. At uh, makikita niya sa kapulisan natin, ang ginagawa, magtatanggal ng tao, tapos siya tatapon sa Mindanao. Kawawa naman yung tiga Mindanao, kawawa naman yung probinsya. We do not want that. If you have a bad egg, remove that bad egg. But I'm, what I'm suggesting now is simple. You have to have a machinery upon which you can draw uh, people from. Uh, a, 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 an institution within customs or within the finance department is what I'm suggesting. Nakukuha kayo ng mga bata na itetrain niyo, bibigyan niyo ng kultura, i-calcate yung culture of duty, honor, at saka yung uh, integrity, at saka yung devotion to the public service para pag nagpalit kayo, uh, may papalit kayo kagad. At hindi kampante yung mga tao. Nagtataka ako, ba't kailangan kumuha tayo ng mga but iba, sundalo with respect to Captain Gambala or General uh, uh, Ikarma. Ikarma. Yes, sir. Eh, dapat professionalize talaga yung custom service. Hindi pwedeng uh, balato natin yan uh, for good service. Koko, ko, ilalagay ko sa cabinet si, si General Ikarma because he has executive ability. I think his talents are wasted as, a, as one of the agencies uh, of customs. Uh, I would rather have a system na talagang meron kayo sistema na binibilid nyo yung mga bata uh, tapos may career path yan. Kung walang career path yan, magpapalit kayo. Eh, yun na naman yan, panibago na walang training. Nakikita ko, tumatangong si Mang Ruben. Tama ko ba yung sinasabi ko, Mang Ruben? Or ayun yung gawin yung sinasabi natin? Comment lang po, Your Honor. Marami kasi pag commissioner ka, ang dinadala mo doon, iniin mo, may edad na. Talaga, sorry sa mga tinatamaan. No? Yung, kunwari na lang sa amin dati, nung pulis ako, may dumarating nang galing sa armed forces, sa pulis, eh, five years lang, magre-retire na siya. So, dapat talaga bata. Saka so, magkocomment lang po ako, Your Honor. Doon sa X-ray, ano, Si Masanay lang ako, tatapusin ko lang yung point natin doon sa Pwede ba tayo maglagay ng Customs Institute? Or kumuha kayo ng mga uh, scholarships sa mga uh, eskwela katulad ng UP, PUP, uh, lungsod ng uh, pamantasan ng Maynila or any other school to have a career in customs and then have a training facility so that palagi may pampalit tayo para hindi kampante yung mga tao dyan na hindi kami matatanggal, wala kayong pampalit? Because you know, it's a recommendation ko. Yes, Your Honor. In fact, uh, that is uh, one of the medium-term uh, plans, Your Honor, the uh, creation of a uh, Customs Academy. No, I'm, pagka Customs Academy, tama yun. Pero dapat yung sa training na lang yun, yung pagpasok nila. Pero yung kultura na dapat, pwede kayong kumuha. Don't shackle yourself with that. Pwede kayong kumuha ng mga 
ta, mga bata na magandang record sa eskwela at uh, imbitahin niyo dyan at palagi kayo mga nagahanap para pagka magpapalit kayo, meron kayo pampalit na talaga mga idealistic. I don't mind telling you my experience in Subic. Pano mga bata yung kinuha ko. At karamihan ngayon ay eh, matataas ang posisyon sa iba't ibang lugar. Nag-volunteer sila, sumaldo sila ng konti, iniwanan pa nila yung malalaking trabaho sa Amerika. Ngayon, matataas ang pwesto. Pero hindi ako nagka-problema sa lukuhan. And that's why I'm saying dapat meron tayong patuloy at ayoko na porque retired military ka, ilalagay ka dyan. Or porque retired uh, uh, kaibigan ka, ilalagay ka dyan. Napakahirap. Uh, so, I, I would like to stress that point. Yes, Your Honor. Sir. Okay, ha. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, sige po. Uh, Mr. Tagubay, pagpatuloy nyo yung comment sa X-ray. Yung X-ray po, maski anong dami ng X-ray dyan, kung wala yung system, kasi ho yan, pag X-ray ko, kunwari, X-ray ko, Meron ako akong training sa X-ray. Na X-ray ko, pag ginusto kong aregluin yan, mapapalitan yung, fil yung film. Papalitan ko yung film. Pag, pag areglo ako sa broker, nangyayari talaga yan. Ang nakita ko ang solution dyan, yung mga X-ray operators, hindi nila, katulad sa Metro Manila, dito sa MIP South, hindi dapat nila alam kung saan sa ma-assign yung araw na yun. Dispatch lang. Punta sila sa South, sabihin mo, doon sila magre-report, yung araw na yun, hindi na lalag kung saan sila pupunta. Thank you. Oh. Well, methodology yung sinasabi niya, no? pero pwede rin namang may tape yung uh, X-ray, mayroong record yun, uh, digital, or pwede rin kayo may operation center na nakikita nyo yung nakikita nila na nire-record rin. Kaya walang lusot. Kami sa Red Cross, meron kaming operation center. Hindi ko lang sinasabi yan no? para magyabang dito. Pero napakalaking bagay. Nalalaman namin kaagad kung may diferensya sa baba uh, o may hindi nag-i-intry ka ng pera sa Red Cross. Go ahead, sir. At, at magtatanong pa si Senator Aquino, ano pa ho yung idalgaw gagawin nyo apart from uh, changing personnel? Yes, Your Honor. Well, uh, that's uh, one program. Uh, the number one program is to stop corruption. And, uh, and uh, the second is uh, on the uh, increasing of uh, revenue earnings. Uh, and uh, and uh, to, to uh, accomplish this, is uh, this is where the uh, no benchmarking uh, and proper evaluation and accurate assessment of duties and taxes payable and, can, and conduct continuous uh, training on assessment and valuation. So uh, this is now being done, Your Honor, uh, as uh, I've said earlier, that uh, it is a uh, correct valuation that uh, we are implementing. And those who do, do not uh, uh, implement, then uh, a, uh, an appropriate action is, uh, is taken. That's correct, sir. Pero uh, for the benefit of Senator Lacson, pinag-usapan namin kanina yung X-ray Senator, uh, kay Senator Aquino. Uh, sabi niya, magdadagdag raw ng x-rays. At uh, sabi ko, ihabol na sana sa budget. Eh, kabibigay lang sa akin ang schedule ng budget debates bukas. Yes, Your Honor. I, I, that is already included. We are requesting 52 x-rays, Your Honor, for a nationwide requirement. 52? And, uh, 52. And uh, we have included that in our uh, request for, adi for additional budget. So uh, I will not worry about that anymore? Y yes, Your Honor. But uh, of course, uh, we You'll need your support, Your Honor. <laughs> we need your support, Your Honor. Of course, we will all support you. Kaya nga kami ang tatanong ko eh. Hindi mm. naman nanggaling sa inyo yan. Sa amin na nanggaling yan eh. Yes, Your Honor. Thank Para you. Para to succeed kayo. To succeed. Uh, uh, pagbibigyan ko lang ko si, si Senator Aquino by right because uh, he's a senator. And uh, kasi dalawa akong committee importante kaya lumabas din si Senator Pimentel eh. Ah, uh, Senator, uh, mas it's better with me, Senator Lacson. Uh, so I think they will both want to come back and then I'll come back to you para matapos so then I can wrap this up. But she has a question with uh, Mandy Anderson. If you will allow him, uh, him your honor. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Go ahead. Right. Maraming salamat, um, Mr. Chairman. Bago po yun, Commissioner Lapena, if, if I may, just one lang. 
there's a commitment na kung bibili ho tayo ng 52 na x-ray plus the current x-rays ho natin, siguradong bukas po yan. Wala pong mga nakatenggang x-ray, wala pong mga napapatay na x-ray. You can assure us that this will be utilized and it will be used. Yes, Your Honor. There was a suggestion by Congressman Teves no, that I, I shared the last hearing na yung feed ng x-ray open to the public. Is that something that would be interesting or amenable, uh, Commissioner? Yes, Your Honor, we are open to that. All right, thank you very much, um, Commissioner. Thank you. All right, uh, Attorney Anderson, mabilis lang po ito. I really wanted to settle this in the last hearing. Um, kung naalala ninyo, maybe five hearings ago, four or five hearings ago, natanong ko kayo, kung meron bang lumapit sa inyo mula dun sa limang grupo na nabanggit ni Senator Laxon sa kanyang privileged speech. This is the Kimberly Gamboa group, the uh, um, Davao group, the uh, uh, Manny was there, Santos, may Santos group, lima yun, no? At uh, Teves group, uh, and, and there was one more group there. At nabanggit mo na nagpakilala sa iyo si Kimberly Gamboa, did she eventually talk to Commissioner Fildon? Um, Your Honor, sorry, I have to try to remember this. Um, before I, uh, she talked to me, I know Kimberly Gamboa, and I, um, I'm not sure if he's a general or some guy from the PC uh, Philippine Coast Guard. Um, I know he brought Kimberly Gamboa into his office, but the commissioner at that time did not know that she was actually Kimberly Gamboa. Who she was. Yes. And that she was joining that meeting. Mm -hmm. Because na pag-usapan dito yung pasalubong, no? Uh, that's why mahalaga po itong sino yung pumunta, sino yung nagpakilala, sino yung nagpahiwatig. So si Kimberly Gamboa and a certain member of the Coast Guard or a official of the Coast Guard ang lumapit kay Commissioner Fildon. I I'm not sure if he was a general, but he's um, some military. Man. In the Coast Guard. General sa Coast Guard. Oh, Admiral Huyan. Or... He was probably assigned in the Coast Guard, but I know he's a military man. Okay. And wala naman tayong sinasabing may masama pang nangyari. Sinasabi lang natin, nakipag-meeting kay Commissioner Fildon. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And that was the first time I heard of her. And it was after that meeting that she came, um, it was a few days, I think, after that meeting that she came to see me. Alright. And ano na nga nangyari ulit doon nung nagpakilala si Kimberly Gamboa sa'yo? Um, she was just explaining, Your Honor, the, her predicament regarding her shipment. Okay. And she wanted me to help her set up a meeting with the commissioner. So, nakikiusap siya na meron siyang shipment, gusto niyang paayos kay commissioner. Yes, Your Honor. May nabanggit ba siyang pera or uh, kapalit? None at all, Your okay. Honor. All right. Um, yung Davao Group, uh, Attorney Anderson, sabi mo may isang customs employee, si Mr. Barte, who was here in the last hearing, na nagpakilala sa iyo, sabi niya, Attorney Mandy, huwag niyong gagalawin yung shipment na yan and we're talking about the 60 containers that was held at the port. Uh, si Captain Gambala gave me the um, the, the report no, regarding that. Um, sabi niya, nagkamali daw kayo. He did not, when he came to you, yung sinasabi mong mans, ikaw daw yun. Attorney Mans, he was referring to you. So, for the record, and so we can finally put this to rest, ano ba talaga yung sinabi niya sa'yo, and what, how did he represent himself? Uh, Your Honor, just to correct you, he didn't say wag kong galawin. He just said, tulungan natin kasi sa Davao to. Okay. Yes, and he, attorney Mans, he showed me, as I said, I, he showed me a text message that came from a certain Mans. Did you read the text message? No, Your Honor, I didn't bother. No, so pinakita niya sa iyo pero Pinakita niya sa akin na ito may nag-text sa kanya. Text, may nag-text. Okay. sa top because it was a very old phone. It's not even colored. So the name of the person is at the top of the Okay, at ang nakalagay ay Mans, just okay. Mans. So sigurado ka na hindi so ikaw sure yun. So he didn't say at Tony Mans. Friends ba kayo ni Barte? We I know him, yes. Does he call you at Tony Mans? Yun ba yung palayaw niya? Kasi ang sinasabi niya in the last hearing, yung attorney Mans, ikaw daw yon at nagkamali ka daw. But may nabasa kang pangalan na Mans dun sa yes. cellphone. Yes. 
was did he talk to Commissioner Fildon regarding um, yung utos sa kanya, alleged utos sa kanya na wag galawin ang shipment na ito? No, Your Honor, he doesn't talk to the Commissioner. Has anyone ever called up Commissioner Fildon or talked to Commissioner Fildon regarding those shipments or nagpapaka, nagpapahiwatig mula sa mga personality sa Davao Group? I have no personal knowledge of that, Your Honor. So you have no, you're in the same office, right? Um, I'm in the back office. There's a, there's a small office behind this office. At, um, so, so mga taong pumunta, mga taong tumawag, wala kang personal knowledge na um, may mga nagpahiwatig apart from, from Barte? Yes, Your Honor. I don't know what happens in his office all the time because the door is closed. Okay. So, At hindi niya binabanggit sa'yo na, kasi you're the chief of staff, right? Mm -hmm. So, ibig sabihin yan, uh, marami sa mga kailangan niyang gawin, ikaw yung nagpapatupad. So, yes. did you report to Commissioner Fildon regarding uh, Barte? Of course. Oh, what did he say? Um, anong, he asked me what I did, and I said, I followed your instructions that we don't care who these people are or who comes to the, like, we don't do names. Okay, so walang di nyo pinansin? Yes. And that is what Commissioner Fildon yes. told you? Yun yung ginawa mo. Yes. Anyone else from those five groups sa pagkakaalam mo na tumawag kay Fildon? These are questions I want to ask Commissioner Fildon himself, but he refuses to face us here. That's why I'm asking you, Attorney Anderson. No? Meron pa bang iba sa mga grupong yon ang na-meet niya, na kausap niya, nagpatawag, nagpadala ng kung ano man sa kanya? Wala ka na bang masasabi? Nagpadala. I know there was one person recent lang, few months ago, na nag-try and magpadala. Now? I don't know who, um, um, I actually didn't see it personally, but it was a big issue in the office. Napag-usapan? Yes. And one of our, one of his executive sec, uh, assistants actually was the one who received these. Um, one was an engagement ring. And, uh, engagement a, ring? Yes, a very expensive engagement ring. and. Uh, I think uh, 250,000 peso watch mm -hmm. for the commissioner. So I don't know who it came from. He just, um, they just said na it was from a guy, a Chinese uh, businessman. So pasalubong. I don't, a I gift. don't know. But that day, um, the commissioner had his security return these things because he didn't know. It was actually given to him. It All was right. just put in a bag. Uh, Commissioner Fildon, alam niya kung sino yung mga tumawag sa kanya, alam niya kung sino yung mga nagpadala ng gamit sa kanya. Um, in, in the congressional hearing, matapang niyang sinasabi, may mga politiko pang tumawag sa kanya. And he said mga congressman. I don't know if he, if he said mga senator, but he said mga congressman. Napag-uusapan niyo ba kung sino-sino itong mga to, Or kung sino yung mga personalities na in, in politics na humihingi ng pabor sa kanya? Regarding shipments, Your Honor? Or Regarding anything? shipments, influence peddling, magpasok ng mga tinitigil or anything like that? Well, that would guess. Yes, we talk about alam that. Niya. Ikaw, alam mo ba? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, gusto mo bang ipahiwatig sa amin kung sino-sino ang mga taong ito? Um, Your Honor, it would be unfair. Uh, for one, it I don't, I don't have personal knowledge of who actually calls ah. him. He just tells me who calls him, so it's hearsay. Um, oh, but if he, uh, let me ask the lawyer here, if the head of the agency tells the chief of staff to ang mga taong ito, why would he lie, uh, Mr. Chairman? He had to ask Abdan Vaildon himself because he's getting it here, say. All right. So these are the exact questions. So wala kang sitwasyon na nandun ka sa kwarto, pinikap niya, hello, Bam, or hello, uh, Ping, or hello, Dick, or anything like that. Wala ka doon sa kwarto. But... Uh, in short? Wala, Your Honor. Usually, wala. You're still under oath, Attorney Mandy, ah? Yes, usually, wala, Your Honor. Right. He usually comes in after and starts talking to me about it. I just want to be assured, may Senator Bamban tumawag. <laughs> <laughs> wala or naman. Senator Dick or Senator Ping, wala naman siguro, no? Wala, wala, okay. Your Honor. Kasi kami yung humaharap dito sa inyo. Okay, so, um, Mr. Chairman, yes. can, can I uh, sidebar? Attorney Anderson, would you be willing to submit to us? Yung mga napag... Kasi, unfortunately, Commissioner Faldon isn't here. No, He refuses to, to face us. And nasabi ko nga, siya yung nasa gitna ng lahat ng mga issues na ito. Would you be able to submit to the committee 
those individuals na binabanggit ni Commissioner Feldon, your knowledge lang, what you are writing in your affidavit or your letter to us is, ito yung mga binanggit ni Commissioner Feldon na humingi ng pabor sa kanya. And can you submit it to the committee? Your knowledge is what he said. Hanggang dun lang. I'll have to talk to the Commissioner, Your Honor. Regarding that? Regarding that, yes. Well, it would have no probative value because uh, it has to be the Commissioner himself. But if she's willing to say so as a matter of information, we cannot use that in a court of law or even here. Yes, we cannot, Honor. but it will help us get to the bottom of what is happening, yeah. uh, Your to Honor. get to the bottom of the truth. And to be honest, it might even help Commissioner La Peña down the line para alam rin niya kung sino yung mga nag influence peddling sa yeah. customs. Yes, Your Honor, but you have to understand that he told me these things in confidence. So it's not information that I can just throw around. Um, well, we're not asking so, you, we're not forcing you to say it right if, now. If he allows me to... Okay. Divulge this so can we, Mr. Chairman, can we allow um, Attorney Anderson to to talk to Commissioner Faldon and ask his permission? Because it, he is under our custody. It's a free country. She's not under our custody. No, Faldon is under our custody. <laughs> can anyone just visit him? Would you like Would you like uh, to put uh, Amanda Anderson under your custody? No, 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 <laughs> no. Um, Attorney Anderson, you you may actually visit uh, Commissioner Faldon downstairs and secure his permission or not. And then please tell the Secretariat if we have his permission to... Because he's a big one. In the first hearing, he's a big one. He said, I'm going to call him a lot. So let's see, if he's a big one, he'll get out of it. And I think the committee has been very fair in terms of running this hearing, Attorney Anderson. Thank you. You're instructed. Thank you. Upon the request of Senator Aquino and the approval of Senator Laxon together with us, I think on my own, I, I, I could allow uh, you to ask Captain Feldon if he's willing to say that. Yes. I don't know about Senator Luxon. <laughs> Senator Luxon? Okay, say it. Yeah, it's okay now with Senator Luxon. Yes, Your Honor. May we ask um, a member of the Secretariat to accompany um, Attorney Anderson and get the information? Uh, we Mr. will Chairman. have a, a lawyer to accompany Attorney Anderson, although she's a lawyer herself, <laughs> from my classmates. Uh, Law office, Pancho Villarasa, right? Yes, and uh, we will do that. Is that it? Thank you, ma'am. Uh, 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 I just want to uh, have uh, Commissioner uh, Sid continue yung uh, program niya of change. Thank you, Your Honor. So, um, I will go now to my third uh, priority program, uh, and uh, it's about uh, ensuring trade uh, facilitation. And um, as part of uh, the uh, effort for on trade facilitation, we I abolished the command center and uh, authorized the deputy commissioners of uh, the intelligence and the enforcement uh, group and all the district collectors to issue alert order. Uh, before, um, uh, before I assume it was only the command center that uh, issues uh, the uh, alert order. But this time, uh, I authorize uh, the uh, district uh, collectors so that uh, the this uh, action is uh, facilitated. And then uh, we are now. Uh, uh, in the process of uh, coming up with uh, a policy that when uh, we issue alert order, the, uh, that alert order uh, will be acted upon within 48 hours. Uh, before, uh, the alert order is uh, something that uh, is feared by the businessmen because uh, it can, uh, your, uh, your uh, cargo can stay uh, even for one month or two months. But, yes, Your Honor. And then uh, this time, uh, it is uh, in, within 48 hours, that cargo should be inspected. And if, it's, if uh, the information on that uh, cargo is negative, then it should be allowed to go. Perhaps it's, you should say, sir, that unjustifiable delay is a, is a violation of the anti graft and corrupt practices law. Yes, Your Honor. And uh, we will place there in that policy that uh, the one who issued the alert order should be responsible 
for uh, the inspection of the cargo. And an immediate report hours. must follow. Yes, Your Honor. And since this is a day of uh, digital technology, mm -hmm. photographs can be taken of the inspection. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. And then, uh, of course, uh, this will be on the medium, uh, uh, medium and uh, uh, long-term uh, plan. It's, it's the upgrading and improving the computerization of the custom system and uh, processes. We need this very badly, Your Honor. I think so, too. Yeah. Yes, and then, uh, an interjection, Mr. Chairman. Senator Lakshan. I'd like to ask ICTSI, 48 hours, Kaya. Yung po sana ang gusto namin linawin. Logistics ninyo. 48 hours po ba is from approving the... the Issuance of the alert order. Alerted po o yung tapos na po yung process? Kasi po pag sinabi kong in within 48 hours, dapat may resulta na yung... Yung inspection, or within 48 hours po ba dapat labas na yung kargamento, Ma Commissioner? Within 48 hours, that should be inspected. And when it is negative, it should be allowed to pass. So, uh, you to pass, to, to be processed and allowed to, to go. But if uh, it is uh, positive, then uh, uh, it can be uh, held uh, further. And uh, since it's positive, a, a warrant of uh, seizure and detention will be issued. So uh, this time, you can hold it because uh, positive yung information. Eh. Yes, Your Honor. Ang, ang question ko, upon issuance of the alert order, within 48 hours, kaya yung gawin yung sa logistics nyo yung ibaba, inspeksyonin, and then i-release. Doon po kasi sa process po namin, uh, kung may, pwede may explain na uh, Commissioner na po. Mr. Valdez, for the record, this is ICTSI. Apa, apa. Ako po yung sa uh, operations uh, director ng uh, ICTSI. Um, bali po, bago po kasi mag-inspect mag ng container or yung for examination or yung mga alerts po, pinapaposition po yan ng, uh, uh, ng uh, um, broker through the uh, approval po muna ng examiner or na custom. So, bali pupunta po yan sa amin, meron po kami tinatawag na special services area to receive lahat po ng mga gustong ma-inspect ma ng mga examiners. So, magpapasa po siya sa amin yan, meron pong dokumento na galing sa customs kung ano po yung gagawin, kung ito po ba 10% o 100%. Para pag nakita po namin yan, i-schedule po namin kung kailan po namin sila ipipresto. Kasi po, sunod-sunod po yan eh. Tuloy-tuloy po yung uh, transaction na yan. So pag ni-schedule po namin yan, halimbawa, natanggap po namin ngayon yung, ano, yung request, ang positioning po ng container nangyayari sa gabi. Kasi po, ang, ang examination po nangyayari tuwing umaga lang po. Bali, ang alas 8 ng umaga, nagbubukas na po yan hanggang umaabot po ng alas 5. Minsan tumatagos po yan ng hanggang alas 8 ng gabi, depende po doon sa ginagawang inspection. So, pag pinwesto na po namin yan sa gabi, ginaumagahan, uh, aantayin na po namin, yun sa part po na si Tessay, ang aantayin lang po namin yung examiner at saka po yung sa broker kasi hindi ko kami pwedeng gumalaw ng kung ano man doon ng walang presensya ng uh, examiner. Kung ano po yung sasabihin nila sa mga tao namin na kapresyon, magbubukas ng container, nandun na po kailangan sila, tapos tinatali po lahat yan. So, inaabot po doon sa base sa experience namin, kasama po na siguro yung, yung paglalabas, kung ito po yung nakapaletize, kung baga, yung karga, kargamento po yung nakapaleta, ang isang container po, uh, masasabi ko, isang oras kaya namin ubusin yan, kung ito yung 100% examination. Kung ito po yung nakakarton lang, ibig sabihin yung karton po, hindi po siya nakapaleta, aabutin po kami ng dalawa hanggang tatlong oras po yan, kasi mano-mano po yan. So pag nailabas na po lahat yan, nilalatag, doon po ngayon gagalaw ang examiner. Titignan po ngayon niya yan. Doon ho, wala na po kaming uh, control doon kung hanggang oras po nila is inspectionin yan. Pero ma sabihin na po natin na abot ng mga apat hanggang limang oras po to assess at para ibalik po uli yung mga in-stop na yun. Kung halimbawa po na-clear naman, Pinaw, inutos sa amin, ibalik na yung mga laman sa karga, yung kargamento sa loob ng container. Aabutin na naman uli kami ng mga dalawang oras. So, mga, mga tumatakbo po ng mga anim hanggang pitong oras po ang isang container para matapos doon sa examination. Kung halimbawa... 
So Jay, you can say sobra sobra in 24 hours. Hindi po, ito po lang, ito pa lang po yung yung kada isang container. Ngayon yeah. po doon kasi kaya po tinatanong namin kung within 48 hours po eh sasabihin ng customs na pwede na siyang ma-release. Pwede, pwede naman po talaga yun. Yun lang ho yung, yung, yung area, yung time frame na sinasabi namin na per container, yun po yung kinakain na oras. Kaya, uh, one container kaya ng 24 hours, sobra-sobra. Aba. So, I would suggest that you put in some leeway. Within 48 hours, dapat na inspection na yan. At kung lalampas ng 48 hours, there must be a written explanation. Uh, at hindi ad infinitum. Kailangan eh, within another 24 hours, tapusin niya, unless talagang there are extenuating circumstances that will prevent it. Because the object of customs in this modern age, as you know, is to facilitate trade. And if you delay, that is corruption. That's a yes, that's max of corruption. So, just a suggestion. We don't have to do this for you. You can do it on your own. Kung alam niyo talaga ang vision niyo, mabilis yung customs. You know, there are airports, for example, like Singapore, a long time ago, they decided in nine minutes, the passenger will be out of the airport. So in customs, dapat meron kayong target date, target time, kung gaano katagal lalabas. And there are many, many uh, models throughout the world that you can do that as your yardstick. But uh, if you want to make a legacy of honor, of integrity, and speed, uh, siguro magagawa po ninyo yan. Yes, Your, yes, Your Honor. Uh, thank you, Paul. In fact, um, if we can only improve uh, our processes and, uh, and uh, improve on this delay or eliminate these delays, then we can solve a lot of uh, problem uh, in the Bureau. Uh, all of this, uh, this taras, uh, this uh, corruption, emanates from from these delays, Your Honor. Delay talaga yan. Yeah, delay. It's, del it's the delays. If we can address that, Your Honor, then we will be able to solve a lot of, uh, of problems in the Bureau. I, I think, sir, you're on the right track. The moment you address delay mm -hmm. and you start making standards and making it stick, I think you'll have a better customs uh, run and you'll have less corruption. Yes, Your Honor. And uh, you just uh, look at your targets also. That's right, Your Honor. Thank you, Bob. Uh, Senator, if I may, yes, po, if I may add, Commissioner, kasi po, uh, since uh, Thursday night po, uh, yung X-ray po sa MICT ay nagta-24 hours na po talaga. Yeah. Um, yung, in fact, in close contact po kami lagi kasi kay Attorney Alameda, yung po yung collector ngayon ng, ano, sa MICT, uh, at lagi rin po kami nasa communication with uh, uh, Mama Maita Acevedo, about sa mga examiners. Ngayon po, ang nakikita na lang po namin medyo na -de delay kasi po sa X-ray mabilis na. Yung pag-trigger po kasi po sa tingin ko sa, sa pakikipag-usap sa mga taga customs, mukha underman po eh. Kaya nagka underman. Opo, hindi kasi kanina naririnig po namin nag-uusap tungkol sa dagdag ng mga equipment, tao. pero sa tingin ko po yung sa tao kasi katulad ngayon, sir. Mabilis na may, mabilis may x-ray, nawala na po yung queue, kasi nung una siguro birth pains lang, kaya nagkaroon ng mahabang queue nung Friday night. Pero ngayon po nawawala yung queue, kaya ang tumatagal doon po sa pag-trigger yung pag-release. Well, that so, is really a problem of the commissioner now. Opo. And he can ask the Department of the Budget Management to add more personnel, provided you can, you can tell him that this will improve collection dramatically, I'm sure he's going to agree. Yes, Your Honor. In fact, uh, we have uh, a, a vacant plantilla positions number totaling to 3,325, oh, Your Honor. That's why the solution is within us. I, uh, we, have, uh, I, we have started hiring, Your Honor, and uh, we will hire and hire and hire. That's precisely why I was suggesting you have to have some sort of an institute or an academy. There are customs administrators, graduates, that you can immediately train there are also college graduates from the other schools, like I said, na pwede niyong kunin at i-train. So, wala magmamalaki sa inyo na tatrabaho sa customs. Pagka wala ka sa lugar, paggagawa ng paraan yan. And then you might even suggest na ma-exempt kayo sa civil service uh, requirements. Uh, we can be imaginative there. Uh, for customs, I think we can do... Uh, 
uh, a different philosophy of uh, of uh, employment at will. If you justify that, I think we can craft a law on that matter. Pagka if it's not satisfactory, tanggal siya, may kapalit siya kagad. Pero mataas ang sweldo niya, pero kung hindi niya magagawa, tanggal siya kagad, wala nang kaso-kaso. We can perhaps do that. I don't know. Uh, it will just take uh, a matter of imagination in terms of legal craftsmanship. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Chairman, yes. if you may allow me. Please. Yeah. Uh, uh, on, the, on that su suggestion of the chairman, may, may, may we propose then uh, our, may we offer the services of uh, our professional customs brokers coming from the chamber. Every year, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, the, P the Professional Regulation Commission is producing an average of about 500 to 800 customs brokers. And uh, this year, or this coming uh, November, uh, th there will be another customs broker licensure examination, and so the the the, the practice of co of customs commissioner then is uh, to hire uh, always, no, almost always, the top ten uh, customs brokers every examination in 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 either in his office or to place in another uh, sections or another ports, Your Honor. Well, they have three thousand vacancies. I mean, kulang yung sila sa mga tigpa five hundred. Pero nasa sa inyo yan, mag-uusap na lang kayo ni uh, Commissioner. But if you start putting in new people na katulad nga nila file doon, na hindi naman kabisado yung trabaho, ay eh, talagang papaikutin ang kayo dyan. That's only my two cents word. And I'm far from infallible. Sir. Yes, Honor. To continue, Your Honor, the, uh, the fourth is uh, the strengthening of anti smuggling efforts. And um, for this year, uh, we are procuring uh, additional uh, watercraft uh, for uh, boarding purposes and uh, enforcement of, uh, of uh, the anti-smuggling uh, pro pro program of the Bureau. And then the last is uh, the PIF is the uh, uh, enhancing uh, personal incentives, reward system, and compensation benefits. That's the attrition law, sir. Yes, Your Honor. Please but implement the attrition law and you will be all right. Yes, Your Honor, and uh, I, I'm, I, I'm very optimistic that we will hit that uh, our targets and avail of the of the uh, re, uh, the rewards uh, uh, provided by the attrition law. Um, uh, maybe by next year, uh, Your Honor, um, if we if we go by the correct valuation, mm -hmm. we will be able to hit that. Yes, and sir. then, of course, uh, Your, Your Honor, um, well, we along this line, we have uh, promoted. Uh, uh, 515 employees just uh, uh, last week, and, and then we are uh, con we continue to promote uh, our employees. May mga 30 years na yan na hindi na, pro -prom na hindi na pro promote o hindi na nagkakaroon ng promotion. Uh, but of course, longevity yeah. is not the only reason for promotion. It's got to be qualification. Yes, Your Honor. Qualifications, accomplishment, uh, all the, all these are considered, Your Honor. Yes, sir. I'm sure you know. Yeah. And then, uh, as part of uh, enhancing the uh, the uh, the morale and uh, looking into the needs of our personnel, uh, for the period I have visited six uh, ports uh, already, uh, Your Honor, and uh, I saw the problem on, on the ground. But of course, I I need to see more. But uh, uh, one common problem is the lack of personnel, and then uh, the uh, promotions, and then the logistics uh, that uh, has to go be uh, uh, brought brought down to the uh, to the ground to the uh, ports. Uh, and then, uh, uh, lastly, Your Honor, uh, on the on the PIF uh, priority program, we are establishing a uh, counterintelligence service of the of the bureau. You know, kailangan niya talaga, talaga yes, tunay. And uh, also an internal affairs service. Uh, to uh, to investigate uh, the uh, the wrongdoings of uh, our our own personnel, part of discipline, Your Honor. Internal affairs. Internal affairs, Your Honor. Uh, that will be all for now, Your Honor. Kung marami kayong kulang, sir, limbawa, to si May, that, that, ilang taong ka na, May? Dalawang taong ka lang hindi nagta-contractual, uh, May? Dalawang taong ka lang contractual? 
2014, three years now. Please answer the microphone. Yes. yes. So if you have 3,000 vacancies, bakit nag pa kayo ng job order or contractuals? Exactly, Your Honor. Uh, that's why we are doing away with the job orders and the contractuals, uh, Your Honor. And then we hire, giving priority to the, con to the contract contractuals and the job orders uh, since they have work already in the Bureau. And then uh, those that cannot be filled up by the job orders and the uh, contractuals, then we hire new ones. Ayun po the suggestion ones, namin ni Senator Lacson na may mga ID na malalaki at saka may mga color-coded na kung lang yun makakapasok sa loob ng peer, sa loob ng kwan. At hindi na pwedeng pumasok yung mga sino-sino ang prinsipe de Judas doon sa loob ng mga opisina. To me, nobody should be able to talk to the commissioner on a problem. Dapat may public affairs office kayo na tatanggap ng complaints, padala yung papel, action na ng commissioner na hindi kailangan makipag-usap. Yes, Your Honor. If I... Any deputy commissioner or anybody there. Yes, Your Honor. In fact, we have uh, part of uh, that. That will be part of the uh, security plan for uh, Bureau of Customs, Your Honor. And uh, there will be uh, a um, a controlled uh, spe specific controlled areas, uh, color coded uh, areas. And uh, the visitors, when they get in, they will be issued uh, color coded uh, IDs para malaman kung hanggang saan lang sila, Your Honor. So that, that's just part of it, Your Honor. Of course, where are your resident on Bushman and what? Do we have? <laughs> 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 uh, we, we don't have, Your Honor. Uh, um, it, there used to be, but uh, we don't have anymore, Your Honor. I suggest you have one and make sure that he does his job and find out how many cases have been filed by the previous ombudsman. And if he did not do that, he's in the election of duty. Yes, Your Honor. You know, sir, uh, once upon a time, I was in the port of Los Angeles, uh, Long Beach. Pagpasok ko doon, eh, nakapasok kami. Dumating ka agad yung police car at sinita kami, you're not supposed to be here. Dapat ganun yun. Dapat wala papasok. Kahit na may bisita ako, at that time I was a guest, nagkamali, nakagalitan yung host ko. And uh, pati yung gwardiya ata, na fire eh. Mm. Dahil pagdating niya, very sloven. Wala sinturon, mahaba mo, ay sinita siya. Kaya I think that sa customs, kung you're a... Uh, a uh, spit and polish soldier, siguro pag ginawa niyo yan doon sa kwan, eh, may marine pa kayong kasama sa Charlie Karma. Siguro pag pasok doon sa loob doon, eh, talagang yun talagang pwede lang pumasok ang pwede. Eh, talagang pag kami nagpapasok, eh, medyo balatan nyo ng konti. Siguro uh, bawawala yung mga picture dyan. Suggestion lang yan, I don't know. Yes, Your Honor. I agree with you, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. You have good judgment. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Your Honor. Biro lang yan. Well, um, um, lastly, Your Honor, uh, as part of the discipline uh, that we would like to instill in our uh, personnel, uh, um, we are uh, procuring uh, biometric uh, timing device for all uh, the uh, bureau offices nationwide. Para pag sinabing 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock ando rin sila. Uh, hindi, hindi na nila madadaya. 8 o'clock. Kasi yung mga mga kliyente natin, yung mga gusto mag-process ng mga, mga papeles nila, 8 o'clock na, ang na sila, Your Honor. So, the, uh, the Bureau of Personnel should be there uh, even ahead of uh, this uh, of their clients, Your Honor. Masyado maraming tara, maraming good time, mapasok late. Di ba? Yan ang sinasabi niya, di ba? Yes, Your Honor. And then, uh, sabi nga, eh, on a Friday, mas, 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 mas delayed daw yung mga processes, Your Honor. Isa na lang po suggestion. Baka pwede niyang pag-isipan po, suggestion lang naman to. Any person in the Bureau of Customs, like May, or like Neil Mastercampo, na nakipagkape sa labas at kumausap ng importer or exporter, dapat she must make a report within 24 hours. If he does not, then he will have to answer to you. Yes, a suggestion. May ikpit yan. Para sinasabi natin sa loob, mag-iikpit tayo, lalabas yan. Pag lumabas, doon magkakasunduan sa kapihan. Pero pag uh, may intelligence na kayo, malalaman nyo yan. Pag hindi nag-report, magpapaliwanag siya. Kasi nakakaya, nakakaya ho dito. 
sa investigasyon natin, marami nagsasabi, doon tayo makikita sa Eastwood, doon tayo makikita sa, sa Starbucks. E ba eh, eh doon nagkakayar yan eh. Ano ko? Yes, Your Honor. Um, thank you for the suggestion, Your Honor. We will uh, we will take that. Uh, in fact, uh, when we were in Pidea, we do that, Your Honor. When you, you meet somebody outside, you have to make a report. Talaga naman nung ginagawa yun, lahat ng intelligence agents at saka ng mga diplomatic agents. Eh. Yes, Your Honor. Kaya dapat ito siguro, eh, magawa ho natin yan. We can do that in the Bureau of Customs, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Chairman. I'd like to pick up where Senator Bamakino uh, left off. <clears throat> Tanoin ko lang, when you were, si Attorney Alcaraz, <clears throat> when you were still with the, you're no longer with the Bureau right now, no? What's your status? Mr. Chairman, I'm still uh, with the Bureau. Okay. I'm at the Customs um, a a Compliance Monitoring Unit under the Office okay. of the Commissioner. Well, when you were still OIC of EG, diba? Enforcement Group, May mga occasions ba that you also receive calls for facilitation either from an outsider or from within the Bureau? May mga natanggap din kayo na nakikiusap mag-facilitate? Outsider, Mr. Chairman, wala eh. Kasi I never give out my numbers. Yeah. Uh, no. I always uh, talk to them uh, in my office. Yeah. Yung tagaloob na nagpa-follow up? Well, if you can call that follow up Mr. Chairman there was an instance where I apprehended uh, several shipments one of those was the one being mentioned by uh, uh, attorney Anderson the shipment of uh, Julie Gamboa in fact when Julie Gamboa went to the Julie Gamboa is uh, Kimberly uh, Kimberly Honor. Kimberly Gamboa yes I, aka Julie Gamboa okay yes, uh, so na apprehend mo yung shipment ni yes. Kimberly Yes, uh, I, if I recall it right, uh, it's like uh, 77 to 80 containers of tiles that I kailan, had it. Kailan ito? More or less? Mga late August, Mr. Chairman, or uh, first week of September. Last year? Pwede pa po, yes, last year. Pwede pa po kaming mag-alert nun. So uh, I think it's like 70 to 80 containers of uh, tiles that I had alerted. And um, what happened then was uh, there were insinuations na gustong makipag-usap. So what I did was to set up an entrapment operation. I coordinated it with the CIDG, a certain Colonel Mata of the CIDG NCR, and set up the entrapment operation na yung isang operative ko agreed to meet with them in Savory Restaurant just uh, off the Jones Bridge. This was after the call made by Attorney Anderson? That was uh, before, before your, your honor. Okay. Then, uh, unfortunately, the target, uh, Kimberly Gamboa, hindi ko pa po siya kilala at that time, uh, instead of uh, going to the, you know, my operative reported na, and the CIDG personnel reported na, ibang tao yun dumating. So parang empleyado lang na, uh, ano, sabi ko, hindi yan ang target natin. Then, all of a sudden, um, si Kimberly mismo, the first time that I met her that night, went to my office. So, nakikiusap siya na tulungan, pagbayari na lang. Sabi ko, I already made my report to the commissioner. And uh, my report was to have the shipment cease. And thereafter, uh, that night din yata or the following day, I don't exactly recall Mr. Chairman, I got a call from uh, Commissioner Feldon saying that someone from uh, Coast Guard na kakilala niya, Coast Guard officer, is complaining sa about me na yung those shipment na in-alert ko. Excuse me, uh, Committee Secretary, can we call Atton Anderson para marinig niya itong pag-uusapan dito? Anyway, please continue. 
and I told the commissioner na kung nagrereklamo sila sa akin, pupunta ako diyan sa office mo. I want to confront them. Kasi nga I already submitted my report including the CIDG report, the entrapment uh, operation that I set up. Sabi ko, but hindi sila sa akin makipag-usap. Bakit uh, kasi nga sinabi ko nga daw na ano then sabi ko, iharap mo ko. I, I want to face him. Uh, pero hindi niya sinabi yung pangalan and, ano, and at the same time I really pursued the seizure of the shipment in fact uh, ngayon nga ho, uh, the shipment has been forfeited in favor of the government at what point did uh, Attorney Anderson call you? Uh, it was you uh, a different shipment uh, Mr. Chairman Anong shipment naman yun? Uh, I think and it's on plywood, behalf, plywood and on behalf of whom? Uh, he just, she just called me. Uh, we were having a convert in Awagan Yako. Then I think meron akong shipment na plywood na pinag additional po ng uh, quite a considerable sum. I think it's more than 600,000 pesos. And uh, I distinctly recall, I don't know, maybe Mandy was just so innocent dahil bago pa lang. Mandy told me, DC, baka pwede daw tumawad. Sabi ko, ano to, divisoria? Hindi divisoria to, Mandy. Don't entertain them. I told Mandy that. And after that, wala naman ho siyang uh, uh, pinalo up pa. On whose behalf, natatanda mo, importer? <coughs> Hindi si Kimberly. Hindi po si Kimberly, Mr. Chairman. Eh. Kasi... I'm pretty sure of that na hindi si Kimberly. Ay, hindi ko na po ma-recall eh. Kasi gabi na ho yun eh. I think it was late night na yun eh. Is this normal na may nuli yung isang unit, meron din taga customs na mag intercede para sabihin na baka naman pwedeng tawaran? Is it at all normal na nangyayari? Well, Mr. Chairman, at that well, point, what, I, I... Yeah, what do you make of that? Well, at that point, I was charging it to the naiveness of uh, uh, Attorney Anderson because she was very new. She doesn't really know na it's not normal. Uh, let me just so that Nira Masaya or si Mr. Pacheco, I would like the PIDEA and the NBI to listen closely. Uh, kayo po ang integrated, ano po? Ang integrated po is one of two official agencies that dispose of drugs. Yes, sir. In the last year, ilan na ho ang nasunog yung drugs? Um, for this year, sir, only one. What's now? Yeah, po, uh, last February po. Last February? Yeah. Basta dinadala lang sa inyo kung susunogin. Ilang quantity siya? Uh, sir, um, ang quantity ho, depende ho sa papadala nila. Okay, uh, okay let me check my file nung last Please February. Please do it. Hindi ko lang. Sa Teresi Martires? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think yes. I was there. Yeah, you were there. I was with the General Fajardo. I was opo. the guest speaker there, di ba? Opo, opo. So, yun lang nag-iisa. Apo, for this year po, ayan lang pong isa ang ating ano, uh, destruction. Ito ba yung Ferrari? Ito yung sinunog nila. Well, sir, sa Exhibit A1 uh, natin, na document. Yeah. Okay, Exhibit A1 document natin. Uh, the total quantity in millions of pesos is 473 million. Okay, and then the quantity in weight is about 400, uh, 4,000, sorry, 329,000 uh, kilos. 330,000. Uh, grams? Oh, yeah, grams. Sorry, grams. Uh, nakalagay sa akin dito on July 4, 2017. Are we reading from the same document? No, um, sir, it's February 15, 2017. I'm sorry. Uh, ito pala. Uh, February 7, 16, 2001. Hindi, integrated yan eh. 
That is Philippine Drug Enforcement. Ito po yung pinasunog nila sa incident. Oh, sige. Record ng bilang. Ang record ho ninyo ay 141,776.43 grams. Metamphetamine. Um, yeah, 141. Tama po ba? Ano, ano ho sabi niyo po, sir? 141,776. Correct po. Apo. Yan. Isan lang kayo nagsunog. Opo, for this year po, isa pong beses pa lang po tayo nakatanggap ng schedule from PIDEA. Sa Shabu yan? Um, different drugs po, sir. Sama-sama na lahat yan, isa? Opo. Isang beses lang, matatapos na ang taon. Opo, opo. We are now October. Yes, sir. So the last three quarters, practically isang beses lang. Opo, I'm sir. just emphasizing it, no? Yeah. Don't you find that strange? Uh, yes, I was asking actually myself on why um, wala na tayong succeeding na, ano, uh, what do you call this? Shipment. So, we are only waiting for them. When they submit to you the drugs na susunogin, ito ba may nakalagay na record dyan? O total lang binibigay sa inyo? Or ito yung mga nahuli in connection with this date, nahuli in connection with this date? Well, it's more on the list lang yung natatanggap po natin sa PDA. Quantity PDA. lang? Yeah, quantity. Basta and... mapasunog nila ito? Opo. Yung... Wala, wala lang kayong tarong-tarong. Basta ito ang sunugin nyo, sunugin nyo ito. Uh -huh. ba? Wala kayong nire-report sa court? Wala po. Wala po kami, ano, uh, wala po kami ganun records. PDA, after you burn, after it's burned, <coughs> don't you report to the court? Uh, yes, Your Honor, but I would like to make corrections that uh, for the... Integrated, uh, I agree that uh, it was only on uh, February. In fact, uh, the good senator uh, was our guest of honor. The second was on uh, July 4, 2017, at uh, Clean Leaf International, that is in Malabon City. And uh, uh, we have also two last year uh, during the time sandere, of. Uh, sandere, sandere. Yes, yes, yes. Integrated and Pinagusa Panatin, yes, no? Only one, you know, that's correct. <laughs> Uh, Panginoon, yes, dito lang tayo kay Integrated. Yung isa lang kayo nagbeses ng pasunog. Yeah, it's correct, Your Honor. Ngayon, dito, Panginoon, yes, sa Clean Leaf International, nagpasunog rin kayo. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, 44,669 grams. Yan ba yan? With 0.65, Your Honor. Oh, 0.65 and change. Ang... Um, Unit cost is magano? 3,000 pesos? Yes, Your Honor. Ano yung estimated value? 134 million? Ang layo naman ang diferensya. Yung bang estimated value, yung bang street value? Actually, the estimated value is the cost of all the uh, distracted uh, during the uh, July 4, 14. So that includes the marijuana, the activated uh, carbon, Your Honor. Uh -huh. So hindi lang po yung... 10.58 grams. Oh, boy, oh. Yes, Your Honor. Ano yung activated carbon? I request my uh, director for laboratory ano service, Your Honor. Ano po yung uh, Please uh, speak to the microphone and state your name. You already have, are on the road. I just forgot your lovely name. What is your name, ma'am? Uh, I'm Director Belen Banog, sir. Belen Banog? Belen. Belen? Belen Banog, sir. Banog. B-A-N-O-G? Yes, Your Honor. Belen, Belen Banog. <laughs> uh, ano yung activated carbon? Activated carbon po is actually charcoal po yun na ginagamit for the manufact... Uh, po, uh, ginagamit as uh, catalyst for the manufacture of Shabu, sir. Ah, uh, okay. So, ang total na gastos dyan ay 134 million. Yung ba ang binayaran nyo sa clear, Cost ng clear clean leaf? No, no, Your Honor. Ito po yung total ng uh, yung estimated value ng uh, sinunog po nung... Uh, Market value? Yes, Your Honor. Market well, value ba yung ma'am? Belen? Uh, uh, yes, Your Honor. Market value. 134 million. Eh, yes, Your Honor. 
E kung kukunin mo yung nahuli ng NBI na 8.9 billion at yung 6.4 billion, abay, ang layo-layo nito sa record natin. Eh. At araw-araw, eh, pinakuha ko sa dyaryo yung mga nahuli ninyo. Ang nasunog nyo lang itong taon na ito ay isang beses lang sa 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 integrated at uh, dito sa kung total mo ay ang total ninyo sa integrated ay 141,000 ba? Sa Shabu? Pagkatapos ay eh, 44,000 so bali 175,000 and change. Ilang kilos yan? For uh, the integrated waste management, uh, uh, the total weight is uh, 329 times 361.59 grams of honor. Ang uh, baba. Kahit naman yung baliktarin ko ito, ang baba yeah. ng sinusunog nyo. Uh, Your Honor, uh, can we can I make a statement, Your Honor? Uh, can you what? Can I uh, make a statement, Your Honor? Perform miracles? No, no, Your Honor. Uh, it's about it's about uh, the the uh, disease and uh, the destruction ceremony. Uh, right, uh, Your Honor. Hindi po lahat ng na ito turnover sa NBI asa PDA. Mayroon pa rin tayo ng ay nasa PNP nasa nasa MBI your honor pero ang uh, law ang law kayo dapat ang kumuha niyan kayo ang vacuum cleaner eh at dapat pag nag-report kayo ito ang binigay sa amin ng PNP ito ang binigay sa amin ng NBI ito ang nakuha ng PDEA para makita natin ang performance ng mga agencies against drugs we have a war against drugs for which we are being battered by do-gooders throughout the whole world na tayo ay may human rights abuses, rightly or wrongly. But the point is, magagalit sa inyo yung Pangulo pag nireport namin yan. Ganito lang ang nasusunog. Abay, baka niloloko nyo ang Pangulo na inahuhuli nyo pala, hindi nasusunog. Nire-recycle. Uh, Your Honor, uh, mm. I've been in the agency for... Uh, 364 days and, uh, during the time of uh, uh, the, the DG and BOC Commission. And I see that uh, uh, it is very transparent. Uh, hindi, wala, wala man lang uh, yung sinasabi na pilferage or uh, para i-recycle. No, 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 you can say that that you're blue in the face, but the facts are clear. Sa so next hearing, and I will make a separate hearing from Tara, para kayo lang ang imbisigayin ko ng Committee on Blue Ribbon on this issue. Isa yes, Tara, Honor. tutuloy tayo. Kay Senator Lacson, tutuloyin pa natin yan. Isa-separate ko ito sa investigasyon. And you better prepare Belen. Ah, magpapasko na, malapit ang Belen. Ah, at darating na si Jesus, si Panginoon. Ah, Pagsabahin nyo lahat yung gagawin nyo para luwabas lahat yung tamang facts and figures. Because tinatamahan tayo sa customs, tinatamahan pa tayo sa law enforcement agencies sa drugs, napakalaki na ng problema natin. Wala pa dyan yung mga probinsya. And I will say we're losing the war on drugs. Because dapat sunog ka agad dyan. Pabagsik yung batas, 24, 72, 24. Hindi 36, 24, 36. We will uh, be ready for the next uh, hearing, Your Honor. All right. Having said that, I, can, can this stop of Senator Luxon, please call Senator Luxon, because Mandy Anderson is here and she has some questions. Mandy, kanina, I will, I will go back to NBI. NBI, please take note. Please, please do your homework. Ang NBI, hindi ba kayo ang nag-i-integrate lahat ng crime statistics natin? Katulad ng FBI? Or sino gumagawa ng lahat? Sa drug statistics, sino nag-i-integrate? 
Your Honor, what the NBA has is... Uh, no, no, wait, wait. Answer my question first. I, yes, sir. Does, in terms of drugs, who integrates all the drug halls? Score ng PNP, score ng NBI, score ng PDEA. Kayo ba yun? Kayo dapat yun eh. Otherwise, we don't know what we're playing against if we don't score that. Yes, Your Honor. Kayo? Yes, Your so Honor. So you will prepare that in no uncertain terms, no excuses, you will give me the details or the committee, the data for this year, arrest, you know, confiscation of drugs, separated from actual drugs, from materials to make drugs, from marijuana and everything, in a matrix that we can understand, with one quantification. Ano ba mas mabuti sa inyo? Kilograms or grams? Uh, we will uh, make Bilal, ano gusto mo? Grams? Grams, Your Honor. Grams, Your Honor. Hindi naman ni Gose Bilal, si Panginoon ka eh. Hindi ka pa pinapanganak sa Bilal. Bilal, no, no? Grams, Your Honor. Grams. O oh, sige, grams. So, grams, kung grams. Do you make that report, by the way? Annually? Yes. Under yes, the law, Honor. you should. I submitted it already yesterday to you, to Attorney Maan. I have it here for last year. But I'm asking you, annually, you're supposed to make a report. Hmm. You know, the problem with our country is enforcement. Akala nyo ba, gusto ko nag-iimbestig ka dito, pagod na ako. Dami-dami ko natin ginagawa ng investigation. So, please make sure, because we will be doing our own investigation, and we will be going to your office, and you'll be supplying us with that, and we will discuss it before the investigation. Because this investigation is not just to investigate, but to inform the public. Para alam nila, Para ang media hindi kayo tinitay na kalaw at kanan. Para ang publiko alam nila na yung binabayad nila ang buwis sa inyo ay nababawi nila sa servisyon na nakikita. Para mapapaliwanag kung gaano kalawak ang drug problem sa bansa natin. Ganun rin ang customs. Uh, Sid, from here on, all seizures by customs in the four corners of this archipelago must be reported kung pwede and the oversight functions of Congress, lahat ng mga drugs na yan, kung tawagin kayo, dapat handa kayo mag-report. Ito ang nakuha sa customs. Ito ang nakuha sa NBI. Ito ang nakuha sa PDEA, sa PNP. And we will put that down para every month, if necessary, the Blue Ribbon Committee on its own will call you to report to us kung ano ang situation na nangyayari dyan even including collections of customs. I am duty-bound to do that, and I can do that. Moto proprio. Yes, Your Honor. So please, do so. I will give you a pass until October. Uh, the next hearing is on October 12. There will be two separate hearings. The first hearing is on the issue of Senator Lakson Tara. After we finish Tara, the Tara, we go to the uh, drug burning. All right? I call it drug burning for lack of a better term. Drug destruction. Yes, Your Honor. So please, do not give it to us the day before. Not tomorrow, but today. No mañana. Yes, Your Honor. Kaya lang, malayo pa, nagawa nyo na. Well, I... Is she coming back? Uh, Mandy, Kanina, you are not here. Uh, attorney, uh, I'll, uh, I should again. I cannot see you. Attorney Alcaraz, Mr. Chairman. Attorney Alcaraz, uh, I think you were being asked by Senator Luxon, and you said, Bago lang. Ang sabi mo, naiveness. Ah. Na the naivete. Me, me. Uh, the naivete <laughs> of Mandy, and I, I'm not willing to accept that because Mandy is a lawyer. Lawyers don't make mistakes, right? We That's do why it. Shakespeare said the first thing we do is kill all the lawyers. <laughs> we do, Your Honor. All can. right, all right, okay. Hmm. We were told, and I'm just killing time right now for Senator Luxon, and he asked this question. You called up 
Attorney Alcaraz about the 600,000 peso charge on uh, import of what items? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I think uh, it was plywood. I'm not sure, but Mandy called me at that time inquiring because I asked them to pay the additional charges. If they do not agree with the additional assessment, they should pay under protest. Yes. However, Mandy was very new then in the Bureau. I think Ganun kasi, Mr. Chairman, eh, pag hindi nila nakuha yung gusto nila, pupunta sila sa Office of the Commissioner, iibahin ang istorya. Si Mandy naman, walang alam, tata tumawag siya sa akin. That's why pinagalit, sinabihan ko pa siya. Which is good. Because yeah. ako may nagko-complain, ako ganun eh. Yeah. Pag may nagko-complain sa mga tao ko sa SBMA, o sa Red Cross, o sa, yeah. sa tourism ng araw, I will call yeah. the person right away. Sometimes I will even confront yeah. both of them para... O nasabahan ng lobby yan, para lalabas. Kaya ganyan ang ginagawa ko, even here. So, Mandy called you to find out whether Sabi, uh, something was amiss. Apparently, uh, And you told her off. You told her, no, you cannot do that. Uh, you cannot uh, ask for tawad. Hindi ito di bisorya. Yes. The exact words. The exact words was, I told Mandy, because uh, DC, pwede daw ba tumawad? I told Mandy, anong tawad? Sabi ko, wag kang makipag-usap niyan. Hindi, ano yun, tod de bisorya. Kung ayaw nila, magbayad sila under protest. How can you speak like that to a lovely lady? <laughs> well, Mr. And Chairman, uh, Mandy and I came from... We, we, came, we come from the same law, same law school, eh. So... I treat her like, uh, in fact, marami kong mga admonitions dyan kay Mandy before na unsolicited. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mandy, what do you say? Miss Anderson, what do you say? I, I honestly can't remember um, the plywood. Is, was this the Kimberly Gumbo? If I can address... Sure. Attorney no, no, Alcaraz. address the chair. Ah, Mr. Chair, if I can clarify if this is the Kimberly Gumbo case. I already relayed to the chairman about the Kimberly Gamboa incident, the tiles, where I set up the entrapment operation, then the Coast Guard guy came to your office, then commissioner called me. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's different. That's different. It's different. It's the plywood, plywood thing. Uh, no. This one is plywood, you need the tiles. Yes. Um, kasi Somebody the, building a house here or something? <laughs> oh. Mr. Chair, um, I honestly can't remember because there's so many of but these But in any way, to your happen. credit, to your credit, sabi naman ni uh, Attorney Alcaraz, pinag-aaway ko lang kayo, sabi naman niya, uh, sabi niya, naiveness. Na, at, at your credit. I admit, Your Honor, eh, hindi ka na, Hindi naive. ka na tumawag ulit, hindi mo na siya kinulit. Which meant that he just wanted to know what was going on and when you found out, you stopped uh, uh, your inquisition. Yes, Your Honor. Well, correct? All right. That's correct, Mr. Chairman. I'm just waiting for Senator Lakson to come. Uh, my instruction is to integrity and to uh, the other agency. Please subpoena the other one. Clear? Clean leaf. Clean uh, leaf. Those who burn the drugs to come here and report po ilan na burn ilan drugs downtown for the last five years. Para hindi lang doon sa Duterte administration, muna doon sa nakaraang administration. Uh, you know, ang galing natin magsisya sa bansa natin eh. Pero ang totoo niyan, when you go back, pati extrajudicial killing, pati ako sinisisi dyan eh. Nung araw pa yan, bata pa ako, may extrajudicial killings na. Araw-araw, ngayon, may extrajudicial killings. Pero wala nagsosolve. Ang sa'yo nilalagyan na natin ng malaking motorcycle plates. Kaya... Yung mga sinasabi kaya ni Sita Peña, that is what this is all about. So the next hearing, please uh, uh, see us. Uh, uh, when you report, make sure that the uh, effort has been undertaken para hindi tayo tatagal. And by the way, the committee has not uh, forgotten the need to get these people. Uh, yeah, si... Napari niya si Tita Rani, si Jojo, si Jojo, dali sigurong huliin yan. No? So, pakihanap lang ninyo. Otherwise, hindi na talaga ako maniniwala sa NBI. Ang araw, bilib na bilib ako dyan, ang bata ko. Okay? So, yun na muna. Uh, 
So, Bradley, I think you'll be excused for the moment. Is there any report on uh, your former boss? Is he willing to divulge to you? To me? Uh, yeah. To, uh, yes, he's willing that I divulge some names that I can remember, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, and what did, are you willing to divulge now? Only those names I can remember, Your Honor. So... But I don't know what you can remember, so you'll have to tell me what you can remember. Yes, so um, I think he will also confirm um, if... Because uh, I can't remember what they were about, but I remember names. And these were the people who tried to get to him, right? Yes, Your Honor. Like who have called who, him personally. The guy who tried to give him a watch, right? No. He doesn't I, remember that? I forgot to ask him about that, Your Honor. I'm sorry. You know... I was focused I on the politicians. I will forgive you because you're pregnant. But you can come back to him again and find out because that's attempted bribery. And then at the same time, there are other people who came to him. Malapit na ng Pasko, kaya sasalubugin natin si Panginoon Jesus do sa Belen. Sa customs nata, araw-araw may pasalubong. So, gusto ko malaman kung paano nyo ginagawa yan. Anong ginawa sa kanya? Ano ba sa akin, for the first two months, he was all right. Then after the third month, according to the older Taguba, bumigay na. Nagkaroon ng tara. Do you agree with that? Sorry, Your Honor, what's the question? I'm... The third month, if it was... Mandy, your charm will only get you to up to a certain point. So please listen. Yes, Your Honor. According to Mr. Taguba, he was okay for the first two days. In fact, he said, Papatayin ko yan pag kami magbibigay sa akin. Tama ba yun, Ruben? Yes, Una. Your Honor. Tapos, sa harapan ni Gerald Deliosa, sa harapan ni Attorney Alcaraz, and tapos sabi niya, after two, two months, bumigay na. After three months, bumigay na. Bumanik na yung tara. Now, ako, I understand, katulad na sinasabi ni Mark, mahirap magnegosyo sa customs kung di mo bibigyan ng tara. Kaya nga yan ang trabaho ngayon ni Sid na alisin niya para talagang level ang playing field. Kahit na gusto mong maging diretsya, ipipilitin kang magkaganyan. Pero ang solusyon, hindi magbigay. Dapat bin, binunyag na kagad niya yan na may mga nangihingi sa Blue Ribbon Committee. At siguro hindi na lumaki yan. Siguro baka mas maraganda pa ang sweldo ng mga tiga customs kung ginawa yan. Now, sinasabi niya, after three months, bumigay na si Captain Faldon. It's too bad that he doesn't want to come here. He should defend himself. But I cannot, I will not I will not be, uh, be one who will force him to do that. That's his problem. He's a big boy. And if he's a uh, mouth thing, that's his problem. Because uh, he's practically defenseless here. Kaliwat kaya na lang bato sa kanya, hindi siya sumasagot. So, do you agree na after three months, nagkaroon na ng tara ulit? No, Your Honor. I believe that's completely untrue. So, in, as far as we're concerned at the Office of the Commissioner. So, you don't believe that Tara did not exist during your time? No, I believe Tara existed. But the fact that the commi C. Commissioner Faldon received Tara, I just can't believe it, Your Honor. And that is your personal opinion? Yes. And that's because of your proximity to him and your examination of the man? Yes, Your as Honor. A, as your boss, right? Yes, Your Honor. And we've always kept everything so open with each other. So, I... I I cannot believe it, and I've never, I've, he's never actually told me about anyone offering anything to him, except for that one time, the, the engagement ring and the watch. So uh, money. Did a lot of people come to his office? During the first few months, yes. He tried to meet with everyone because he wanted to learn, to learn everything about customs. Did people uh, ask him? Diba, katulad doon sinabi dito kalina ni Ruben, sabi niya, oh, ang pasalubong dito, akong bala sa'yo, basta dito sa resin, meron kang 50 to 100 million. 
No, Your Honor. And in fact, I want to comment on the on the meeting, Your Honor. The commissioner has actually called stakeholders three times in three in three very big meetings because he wanted to get their they wanted to he wanted them to coordinate and to coordinate with him in trying to to clean the bureau. So I don't know how Mr. Taguba can say that it was for Tara purposes. He was very transparent well, during those, those well, meetings. There was a Tara and he did not stop it. You know, you remember the eulogy for Robert Kennedy by Ted Kennedy. My brother should not be remembered for how he died or something like that. But there's a man who saw wrong and tried to stop it. He did not stop it. But he tried, Your Honor, that's for sure. But Tara existed nonetheless. Yes. Yes, it is. Did the people around him help him? Yes, Your Honor. Really? Yes. Um, Maestro Campo? Yes, Your Honor. Even if he gave the, the uh, codes, even if he saw already the, all the text messages, where he was giving the codes and he was even advising them, palitan nyo yung, yung uh, uh, cosigning. Well, for one, Your Honor, that's hearsay. And for no, the no, no, that's not hearsay. There's somebody that he talked to and uh, who testified here. It's not hearsay. There's somebody who said, stop it. May alert order. Nagiging ng alert order. Because ang mga binibigay doon sa grupo ng, uh, na, ni Mr. Taguba ay ang average ay 40,000. That's not hearsay. Those are facts. For the HS codes, Your Honor, they're readily available to everyone. That's why I don't know how he no, could make money. No, but you were able to change to... codes para mapapasok sa green lane. Or for that matter, I don't want to argue with you. I know that you're a loyal person and I respect that. But I'm just trying to say he should be here to defend himself. After all, he's a Marine. I agree, Your Honor. Well, then I'm sorry for him. I really am. Because uh, in effect, he's uh, practically obstructing justice. And not testifying here. He's assuming that he's going to be held guilty. Well, right now, as I told him, right there, right now, I don't see any corruption with you. I just see negligence. Plain and simple negligence. You were way over your head. But now, everything is going after him. So, I'm sorry for him. I don't have to say so much anymore, but I, I just, I run an open shop. I want to make sure that uh, everybody gets to say, and I will decide it along with the committee on the basis of the evidence. We're not going to sentence anybody here, but we're going to be making recommendations because that is our duty. And when duty comes, we will do our duty. There will be no shirking from our responsibility. On that note, we will call the next meeting of the committee on October 12th, Thursday at about 9 a.m. And uh, we don't need uh, Richard Chen anymore, do we? No more. So you're excused. Uh, uh, but everybody else, particularly Bidea, as I integrated, and then the other thing, everybody should be invited. Of course, Sid, uh, this should be part of our ultimate hearings already. Uh, there will be an extension on the drugs because now it shifts from customs to Pidea and to NBI. Uh, and the PNP. We will invite also the PNP. Uh, I would like to issue a subpoena duce secum, therefore, upon Pidea, upon NBI, and upon the PNP, upon customs, on all matters involving drugs, arrests, or confiscations and to inform us in detailed manner, in chronological manner, with the quantities that are based on a matrix that we should supply, 
uh, in agreement with them now, right after now, we, so that they will give us the right kind of information and there will be no variance. So kindly see uh, my staff so that we will be able to get it para pareho ang uh, ating pasihan. I am not going on a witch hunt. For all you know, the judges, some judges may be dragging their feet. For all you know, some of your own people may be fooling around and you don't know. And this will all be good for the benefit of the service. Uh, you know, sometimes my staff wants to be chairman. They'll get to be elected senator one of these days. All right. Thank you. I hope you don't, because it's too expensive. But anyway, uh, get, get it done right, and so that we can have a quick meeting. I just want to find out how we're doing in the destruction of dangerous drugs in this country. Don't worry unless you have somebody who did something wrong, unless you are somebody who did something wrong. Because I promise you, I'll go after you. And that's not an, that's an, an idle boast. Yes, Don Vicente of the NBI. Uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. Uh, I have so here... That's like about thing. It's very polite. Good afternoon, sir. I have here with me uh, orders from the San Juan court uh, under Judge Cubencio Gascon ordering uh, the destruction. The the destruction of the drugs what, that uh, we turned over to the PIDEA. But it was destroyed, I understand, in June, supposedly. I just don't know. According to our chemists, uh, they are supposed to be there during the destruction, but... I'm really posing what I call a bait. Because right now, PIDEA is in hot water. If this, the goods were destroyed in July, as they claim, or June, the only report I got is February. So we are already in trouble, Panginoon Jesus. Hello. Don Vicente? No, Don, no. Director Vicente. I did not get the question sabi mo mayroon kang order anong nakalagay sa order destroy approval on dated when uh, uh, this court order was issued by the honorable uh, court uh, on uh, June. June, June 30 June 30 ordering the PIDEA to... June 19, June 30, and... June 19? And May 29. May 29, that's correct. Yes, Your Honor. There are... So, PIDEA, you are hereby instructed to write a letter because you are the guys who told me and the Department of Justice and NBI told me I don't want to destroy this man's reputation. I will call him personally. I got his phone number to apologize to him because of the misinformation I got. I did not get this information until later. But I was quick on the draw because it, it really turned me off na nahuli na. But actually, kutalagan tutusin, June is still six months delayed. Huh? Right, Director? Yes, June sir. is still six months delayed. Now, who will it December? December, Your Honor. December. January, February, March, April, May, June. Six months. Ang rule, 24 hours examination. Kung talagang drugs yan. Within 72 hours, order ng drugs, no? And then afterwards, afterwards, 24 hours, destroy. So six months delayed, but I will still apologize because I was given the information that he had not acted on anything. At least he acted quite six months late. Yes, Your Honor. So I would be beholden to you if you will write a letter along with PIDEA 
apologizing to the Honorable Judge. I will write a letter, but I will also say, late na rin kayo, June, but nonetheless, medyo nagkaroon ng misimpression doon. Still, like I told the Chief Justice, ma'am, 24, 72, 24 ang law. Six months na rin delayed ito. You remember, I even said I will even create a, a constitutional crisis by inviting them here. So I will call him, and I hope he's listening. As I understand, he's a good man, and I don't want to I don't want to uh, say something wrong about a good man just because I was misinformed. I take it all back. I think you should all be man enough to take it back. I cannot tell you what to do. I know what to do, but I will tell them where the information came from. And if you're man enough, you should do the same thing. Kasi ako naninira ng reputation ng tao eh. Di ko gali yan. Okay ha? Uh, Your Honor, please. I just would like to, to uh, correct on the impression of this honorable committee that uh, the words that uh, uh, attributed to us na sinabi namin na walang order pa ang court hindi po sa amin galing yun the Secretary of Justice uh, I don't know po kung kanino galing I think sa PDEA I think nang galing pero we did not say that because all along we have a copy of the order of the court but you did not mention it at that time <laughs> yes Your you Honor you quiet because your boss was here <clears throat> Your boss was saying the wrong thing and you did not correct him. Ay, naku. Ikaw kinalabit mo sana, boss. Basahin mo nito. Then he could have apologized and said no. I tell my people that. Pag mali ako, sabihin nyo, ba? Kakaya. So, mali ka pa rin. Right? Right? Sa military, I take full responsibility, sir. Tama ba yan, Sid? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> I take responsibility. I, I take full responsibility. responsibility. Which is the first words that Captain Vailon said. For everything that has gone on in customs, I take full responsibility. And I said, I cut him off. That's right, because you're a Marine. You remember, General Karma? Same thing here. I'm trying to make a big thing out of a molehill, but it's not a naman. It's not a big thing. And I promise you, I'll call him. Nobody told me to, but I'll call him. I just waited in this hearing so I can publicly say na nagkabali tayo, that we were misinformed, and I don't think it's a fatal error. Salalan ni Secretary of Justice yan. Tampo siya talaga. Yes. Uh, Your Honor, uh, it, it, yes. it is in our record that out of the three, 800 that was uh, seized by the NBI, 560 pala yung letter number. And out of that 560, <laughs> on June 30, 312 lang po yung may grams yung may court order. Just, just give us the report and we will tackle this next time. I promise you I will be fair. And I will re take recognition of the fact that you've been there how many days? 364 days? Yes, Your Honor. Which is no excuse. <laughs> I agree, Your Honor. Good man. May ba yung tao na sinasabi yung man nagmaman up? Which is what I said to one of the witnesses here. Man up. And he did man up. All right. On that note, I thank you all for coming. Uh, let's try to finish this because I'm a na ako sa inyo. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway, uh, let us hope that we can finish this. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. NBI, PIDEA, and uh, PNP, Subina Ducha Secum. Five oh three. Five oh three. Please uh, come together so we can agree on the format with uh, my man here. Uh, uh, thank you all very much for coming. And uh, Manny Lee, Vince, Vicente, Richard uh, Cheng, you're no longer required to attend.
unless we call you. So your lawyers will not get rich out of you anymore. <laughs> All right. All right, the session is suspended until October 12. Yo, 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 yo,